Hello, everybody. Just making sure the camera's all good to go. Welcome back to another Friday night live on Radical Toys. Uh, we can see, you guys can see, we got a nice big box here. We got uh, our mystery box for tonight that uh, Mike has sent over to us. <laughs> Uh, let me get into the chat here. I want to get into the chat kind of right away and see who's with us so far. I'm Rebecca Strong. I'm Volume down. Saskatchewan. Yes. And I am. Oh, oh, I tell you, every time, and then it, it, it always it goes down. on. I don't know why it's up. The phone doesn't like me. Apparently. I'm going to beat it to pieces. I don't think so. Uh, we've got Manic Plastic Toy Shop. Mike is in the house, so Mike is the man of the hour. Uh, he's the gentleman that sent over this box. If you haven't seen his toy shop, get in there and check it. Drop um, your link, Mike. He's got, yeah, drop the link in there, Mike. If you want, feel free to drop your link of your toy shop in there. Check out his stuff. If you're into vintage things, individual pieces that you might be missing for your figures. And he's got complete stuff as well. So certainly check out his toy shop. He's got a lot going on in there. Um, who else do we got in the house here? Uh, I'm going to start from the top. We've got Radical Mamas in the house. Everyone's, uh, she's saying hello. Happy Friday to everybody. We've got Speaking Moistly is in the house. Good to see you, buddy. Glad you made it in with us here tonight. It's going to be a good one. This is going to be a pretty interesting box. It's heavy. Uh, very curious to see what's inside this thing. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, David Williams. Thank you for dropping in and chilling with us. Where is Radical Sister? She must be in here somewhere. Uh, no, Radical Sister working. will be in. She's at work. Okay, so what time does she get off? She must be getting off shortly, right? Maybe she's off in, in, in another hour? Or... I'm not sure. Probably an hour or so. Uh, there's no rush, though. There isn't any rush. So, yeah, I'm just waking up like half hour ago so I had a crash nap on the couch so I'm still kind of getting my grounds here and still waking up a little bit she gets off 7 p.m. oh 7 p.m. so what's so that's... she's just getting off now oh she's just getting off now so oh. 7 p.m. her time will be eight hours so she's just getting off work oh okay yeah because we're eight here so that confused me <laughs> don't confuse somebody who's half asleep uh, okay, I get it. There's Mike's link, so you guys can check out his link. And you can drop it in again later, Mike, uh, once more people drop in so that they can see it. So certainly do it again. Uh, uh, do it as many times as you want. You're the man of the hour. So it's all you, buddy. Uh, what else is kind of going on here? We just got done. I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, before we get started with the box, have you guys seen the new... X-Men 97 episode. Mike, did you watch it yet? Um, I don't know what to think about it. I really loved the episode. Um, it came out Wednesday, so I want to talk a little bit about it because, uh, spoiler warning, it, it's been out for two days. You should have watched it by now. If you haven't, I got no mercy for you. Um, or at least don't listen to what I'm about to say. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, Brick. Thank you for dropping yeah. in. Yeah, so Mike Mike saw the episode, and um, it was kind of interesting. The thing that I loved about it is it showed two characters, and I know Mike, as soon as he saw the two characters that I'm going to mention, he's, he's like, oh, Adam's going to fucking love this. <laughs> they showed Dazzler on the stage, right? They showed Dazzler, and she got about 30, what was it, 30 seconds of screen time? And it was like the most joyous 30 seconds of my entire life, because I was so... And yes, we saw Emma Frost, but not just Emma Frost. She was in her Hellfire Club outfit. And I was like, oh my God. So as soon as I see those two characters, the first thing I think about is we're going to get these in the toys. We've got to get these in the toy form. So I'm praying that Wave 3, Wave 4 will have um, we'll have those figures. By the way, I missed, I missed the Hasbro Pulse live stream today. Did anybody watch it? There was a Hasbro YouTube channel pulse for marvel legends what did they release did anybody watch it please let us know i completely forgot about it but i was busy fridays is just not a good day for me to, to watch anything youtube related 
Trick says, I did. I'm a huge co comic reader since 82. Oh. I was around for the first version of this show. I want. Oh, I wasn't into the first, first version, version, but enjoy this, this one, one enough. Not a huge fan, though. Oh, uh, that's fair. So what, hey, did you, what did you think about the episode? As a cosmic reader, the show always felt a little like a clip show. Moves super fast. I could barely hear you, so they could barely hear you. Bring your voice up. I don't like the screen. I said, as a cosmic, a co cosmic, now I can't say it. As a comic reader, the show's always felt a little like a clip show. Moves super fast. Hello, Jeff. Thanks for dropping in. Good. Okay, so we got Jeff is in the house. Good to see you, buddy. Speaking Moistly says, I missed Hasbro's live stream. I work. They never have these things <laughs> for my days. Yeah. Oh, well, I just want to know, did they reveal any X-Men Legends 97? That's really all I wanted to know. I didn't assume that they were going to because the last Hasbro Pro stream wasn't anything. I shouldn't say anything X-Men related because there was. Cable was released in that in that Build-A-Figure pack or whatever, but nothing X-Men 97. So I was like, meh. I thought it was kind of a meh, downer sort of live stream, the last one that they did. So... I was just kind of wondering what, what was out there. Was there anything Spider-Man related, like retro card stuff related? That's kind of what I was wondering. I'll have to go and check that out after. Uh, let's see. I should just look at my own phone. Keep staring at yours. Uh, episode was cool. I appreciate what they're trying to do. Definitely fun and intense. But again, moves too so fast for me. Yeah. I feel like it, I feel like in they'll do a version of Inferno in a single episode, a version of Age of Ap Apocalypse over two episodes, then end it with House of Me, House of M, etc. Right. Um, what I had a what I had an issue with because I'm hoping that I'm wrong about this because I predicted the first three episodes. You asked Mike, I got this correct before the show was even aired, because like Brick, I followed the old cartoons and I did my research with the comic books and stuff. It was easy to figure out how the first three episodes were going to play out, uh, especially since you've seen Goblin Queen and you've seen the little baby in the package. You knew it was Nathan Summers. The problem I have with it is they seem to be doing the Kevin Smith thing with Revelation where they kill off characters. So, spoiler warning... Some characters died in this episode, okay? We got Gambit. He died. And I think Magneto, it seems like he died, but we're not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure he's dead. And I'm wondering if they're going to do the whole time travel thing and bring them back, that sort of crap. I'm like, really? Are we really doing this again? Do we have to go through this again? Because X-Men's very well known for time travel. That show, so I'm like, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. So I don't know what's going on, but that's the part that was kind of I was kind of concerned about. I mean, the reason why I'm concerned about it is because I can just imagine being Gambit being my favorite character and him dying. I wouldn't uh, like that. Speaking of that, speaking mostly just said Gambit was his favorite. Right. Actor. So I'm coming from his point of view, probably. Right. Nobody wants to see their, their main character die. If I've seen Rogue die, because I was on the edge of my seat, like just edge of the seat, grabbing it, and I'm thinking, is Rogue going to die? <laughs> is she going to die? Because I thought she was going to die, and it looked like she was going to die, and then she didn't die. So I was like, man, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Marvel. Like, you know, I don't want to see this crap. Uh, so anyway, I, I don't know what direction they're going with, because it, the show really started out awesome. I love that they showed off Emma Frost and Dazzler got a little bit of screen time. And even Nightcrawler was in it. And I thought he was kind of neat. Um, His voice was a little different, but he was pretty cool. Yeah, He's still that religious character. character. I liked it. Brick says, cool cameos, though. Love seeing Leech, Moreau, Blank, Dazzle, etc. Right. I predicted they do Life Dead over one episode. I was wrong. They maybe did it one of three of an episode. Ha. Right. Speaking moistly, number two is a storm. He said, "Who's storm? <laughs> Who's storm? Who's storm? <laughs> <laughs> Who's road? Who's camp?" <laughs> <laughs> 
No, actually, um, uh, speaking moistly, Storm wasn't in this episode. No. Thankfully. No, she's not. So she dodged the bullet. She's off in another area with, um, oh, what's his name? I can't remember the gentleman's name because he's trying to give, get her uh, back tr her trying to get her back her powers. If you haven't watched it, the last couple of episodes, she lost her powers. She was one of the characters that fully lost her power, fully lost her powers, and they actually went and did the coolest thing. You know, she's got the mohawk, right? And how, like I've been mentioning, and a few other people have been talking about. Well, if they're gonna give the toy the mohawk on Storm, then why don't they just go and do the full freaking black punk outfit? Well, what did they do in the show? Boom, put her in the black outfit. I'm like, there you go. Now I understand why they gave her the punk mohawk for the hair so i was like thank you for doing that like i'm i'm so happy that they did that but anyway she's off in another place so no she didn't die <laughs> thankfully says, mike uh, mike's favorite character got a pass it'll be some <laughs> it'll be some weird age apocalypse or age of x uh alt reality thing and then they'll restore things and gambit will be alive well another thing about that i'm glad you mentioned that because another interesting thing about it was are they going to show Cable? Are they going to bring Cable into the show, like the future Cable? And they did. Today. But not only did they do that, I've always had the question in my mind, does Cable know who his mother is? And he does. And he did, because at the end, he said, I'm sorry, mother, and he got sucked back into the portal. I'm like, that just answered my question. Sticking moistly says, I haven't watched 97 yet, but I don't care about spoilers. That's fine. I mean, it's been out for a couple days. I don't know what to tell you if you have an option. All music says he doesn't know who they are. Your mom's like, you know who they are. He says, no, I only know Moto. Well. Sure, okay, she says. Well, you don't believe me? If you say so. Oh, geez, <laughs> low. You do yourself a favor and go watch X Men 97. It's really cool. Or, no, well, you can't even do that. You got to watch the original series first. Yeah. You really do. Because it takes place after the final episode of the original series. Literally. But it takes a little bit of a dark turn, so it's like a Kevin Smith sort of thing in this episode where uh, people are dying and shit. And I'm like, really? Our heroes are going to start dying in this show? Like, what are they going to do to bring these characters back? Please don't do the time travel thing again. I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> uh, Brick says, so speaking mostly, you've read the comic, so X-Men 97 won't spoil anything. You didn't already know how. Speaking moistly says, I probably will not watch 97 for a few months. Got too much to catch <laughs> Yeah, I hear you. There's so much to watch and so much to, like, uh, who was it that was talking to me the other night? Because I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan. They're like, did you, got, did you watch the animated Mortal Kombat series? I'm like, no. I think it was Mike. I was like, no, I completely, they completely went over my head. I had too much to play on video games and too much to watch, so I've never watched the animated series. Never seen it. Mom says, Jeff's on a roll tonight, low. He says he doesn't know who X-Men is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was me. Oh, but all... Uh, all that actually happened in the comics. Uh, Genosha was attacked by Sentinels in, in the comics, so... This isn't them doing a Kevin Smith type thing. They're just the clip showing the comics. Okay, that's that's good. It just felt that way to me. Like I don't, I haven't read every single comic book in X Men, so I'm only my knowledge comes from the animated series, right? That's mostly my knowledge, but that's the vibes I was getting because the characters were dying. So if I'm wrong, please, I want to be wrong. <laughs> I'm glad I'm wrong if that's the case. Jeff goes, I never roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got eight people in here. We're going to start getting into this box because the anticipation is killing me here. Um, oh, you got the knife. Okay, so Christina, you can open up the box, and then I'm going to start pulling little things out little by little because I'm probably going to get excited about this. I always get excited when somebody does this for um, me. Brick says, that said, it's fun, and, and I think the show's... A smart way to bring people into X-Men to prime people for the MCU's yeah. move towards mutants. Makes Fair sense. enough. Right on. All right. I, I got to admit, man, it was total fan service for me when I was telling my Frost and friggin' Dazzler on there. Like, I was all over that. 
I was like, you should have heard me. I was jumping in my seat. And Christina's like, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll write it. I'll say it. If the only thing I have to compete with him when it comes to him is his figures, then I'm okay. And fictional characters? Yeah, I think you're all right. I think I'm doing all right. All right. Hmm. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to put the box down, and I'll just pull out one by one to see what we got going on here. Oh, great. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Woo! Uh, okay. <laughs> Jeff, Christina's opening the box. Look out. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this. Uh, just start. Uh, okay. I just, guess. Just start. Oh, Frag, man. Okay, I'll, I'll just start with, well, Mike knows my favorite. <laughs> Mike knows my favorite wrestler because I'm always talking about him lately. And what did we get? Masters of the WWE. Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> All right. And it's the one that I really like because it's they did they did two of this guy in the line, right? They did one like he was in the black and white with the Ford outfit. And this one is the one where he's in the orange trunks with the it's supposed to like represent the bandana, <laughs> but it's a helmet. Oh man, this is so cool. Apparently, I look manacle with a knife. <laughs> uh, I'll show you guys. I gotta show you guys each and every one. I'm gonna have to do this. There she is. This is cool. Thank you for stopping in, Radical Sister. So, here is our Macho Man Randy Savage, my favorite wrestler of all time. Um, this is really neat because they're, they're giving him that battle armor outfit that Jake the Snake wore. Jake the Snake wore that too in in the line, same same armor piece, and it's really cool. Uh, and they even put the sunglasses on there. That is so cool. Oh man! And I think he what has he done? Uh, is that Man at Arms parts in there? Okay, yeah, this one must be. Yeah, okay, so he's got Man at Arms accessories. Oh, that's so cool, man! Oh my lord! And it's that funny is... because Jeff just said. I really wanted some more of these figures. Too. Jeff just said Moto Classic Arms to Adam. <laughs> right, right. Masters of Macho Madness, it says. Moto Arms. Highly articulated for power posing. Oh, my God. That is so cool. I've really wanted more of these figures. Like, how, about, how long have I been saying that? Armor and weapons as well. That is really cool. Okay, I'll put that up, but I don't want to yeah, block your you're face. Block it, I just put it I don't want to block your face. I'll just okay. I'll have to put it down then. We'll put it down for now. But man, that is so freaking cool. Like I don't know what to say. That's really awesome. Thanks, man. Uh, okay, uh, we got another one. What do we? What do we got? Oh, Roman Reigns. We got Roman Reigns. What's it say? Uh, heroic. Big dog. Now I'm not familiar with this character, so you guys are gonna have to educate me because I left. I got out of the WWF scene, as I like to call it, um, back when Hulk Hogan. By the time Hulk Hogan went over to WCW and he was the bad guy, that's when I started getting out of wrestling. So I didn't go much further past that. So you guys are going to have to inform me who this really is because I don't know this character at all. But he's part of the same wave as that Macho Man, so that's cool. Um, let me show you guys up close what he looks like. So it says, Roman Reigns, heroic big dog. Highly articulated for power posing, so same sticker. Nice face sculpt, though. It's really cool. He's even got tattoos all over his arms. Or this arm, anyways. That, what's that? His right arm to him, our left, his right. That's really cool. 
some nice artwork on the back. Includes collector's booklet. Oh, it looks like he's got the same accessories as Mr. T has with mm -hmm. the big fist. And then he's got like a He-Man shield. That's cool. You guys, well, you guys can let me know. I'll read the comments in a minute. So just give me a couple. Uh, oh, we'll go through a couple figures, whatever's in this box, and then we'll go back to the comment section. Uh, what's next? Okay. Uh, well, we'll cut another one. <laughs> All right, man, this is awesome. Uh, who do we got? Finn Balor. Finn Balor. So once again, I don't know who this character really is. It says heroic, heroic demon king. Let me bring this up to you guys. Hey, Carol. Hey, welcome in, Carol. So Finn Balor, heroic demon king. Now I don't know this character at all, but I'm totally digging this. I'm speaking voice like goes Finn who? <laughs> I'm totally digging whatever this armor piece is on him, and I'm trying to figure out what classics character has that. Does anybody know what classics figure or character has this armor piece, or is this like a new sculpt? I'm totally digging the, the paint apps on his face, though. Man, that's a wicked face. That's cool. Totally digging it. I'm just trying to figure out, like, who, whose boots are those? It's not trap jaws. Let's see. It's not trap jaws legs. No. I don't know whose those are. Oh man, that is really cool. Look at the artwork on that on the back too. So he's got some sort of tentacle thingamajigs. I really don't know this guy too much. Thingamajig. <laughs> so this guy's part of a different wave. It's got Triple H, Ultimate Warrior, Sting, and Finn himself. Okay, cool. I'm familiar with Ultimate Warrior, and I know Triple H, and I know Sting, but I don't know this guy. I don't know when this guy came into wrestling, but I have no idea who he is. But he looks cool. That's super cool, man. Oh, man, three of these damn things. This is so cool. We'll do one more, then we'll go back to the chat and kind of break it up a little bit. Go back and forth. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, what's this one? Let's do this one. Okay, I, I, I know this character a little bit, but not much. I had to do a little bit of research on who she was. Uh, so we got, oh, Becky Lynch. So. Hey, Allison, thank you for dropping in. Hey, thank, hey, Allison, thank you for dropping in. So we got Becky Lynch. Is that, is that how, am I pronouncing that right? Lynch. Lynch. Yes. Lynch. Becky Lynch. Um. I don't know, like, I know her a little bit, but not enough. Like, I did a little bit of research on her a little while ago to figure out who she was, and now I forget again. Uh, it says, the, uh, the the man of WWE, why does it say the man of WWE Eternia? It's a girl. I'm confused. Um, Jeff says Becky Lynch is cool. She's the, she's the Tila of the WWE line. Tilo WWE line, yeah, she gives me that vibes, and I'm totally digging the orange hair. Did she have? Does she have red or orange hair in real life? That's really cool. It says the man of WWE Turnia. Did they make a mistake when they wrote that, or did they actually call no, her that? No, uh, Mike just said because she calls herself the man of the wrestling show. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. So. It wasn't a misprint. It's me, because <laughs> I just I'm just ignorant with the character. I don't really know her too well. Um, that's really cool. She's got some. She's totally got the Tila Buck going on there, uh, with the bracers and stuff. That's really neat. I like that. And has a T on her kneecaps. What's the T represent? There's like some printed T's in copper on her uh, knee bands. Does anybody know what that is supposed to represent? Um, and she does have a shield. A Tila shield in there. Speaking moistly said Becky does have hair, but I think it's dyed. Yeah, I, I figured as much. I mean, I figured it's just dyed, but do, do they have like that color hair in the wrestling? I'd have to look her up again because I can't remember. She flipped and threw Pixie Dan. Pixel Dan. Look at that. She comes with the staff. Oh, she comes with the staff. Call to 
So she comes with Tila's accessories. That's cool. So are these, they, this must be the classics uh, Tila accessories. I wish I had my Tila here for comparison. My Super 7 one, because I'm going to assume it's the same ones, right? It's not the Origins weapons. It shouldn't be. Hey, Ray! This is, this is mixed in with the classic stuff. Oh, man, that is so cool. Just in. There's the uh, Macho Man I was referring to, the one with black and white. It's got black and white um, gear on. So they did make another Macho Man. I knew it. One that's based off Hordak, right? And it still had Man at Arms accessories on it. Oh, Rodney Piper and um, uh, Rookie the Steamboat is in this wave. That's cool. Right on, man. So there's four. Holy frig, man. This is so cool. I wanted some, I wanted more of these so badly, and they're so hard to get a hold of here in Canada. Your twin just came in. Oh, okay. Well, let me get back to the chat then, since some people, more people are dropping in. So this is getting exciting. We got some WWE stuff uh, to start with. Uh, let me see. What do we got here? Who, who, I just let me get back to where I was. Okay, so that's where uh, Speaking Moistly was talking about Storm. Um, okay, we, we read some of these. Okay, so, okay, I think we ended off with Brick. And Mike says, yeah, that was me. Okay. All right. We read that one. Okay, so Christina looks manical with the knife, says speaking wisely. And Doesn't she always? And, and Jeff agrees with her. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't she always? Oh, uh, there's Radical Sister. Just popping in. I'm still at work. Can't wait to get home. Uh, geez, are, are, you, uh, are you off now? You must be just getting off then. Uh, Moto Classics Armor 2. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay. All right. Awesome. Uh, that one probably is, right? Like the uh, the Macho Man one must be. I don't know about Roman Reigns or any of these other characters. Um, I can only... I know that's a, uh, like He-Man Shield or whatever. I'm, I'm assuming it's classics. It should be. Yeah, Master of the WWE is a really cool line there. Speaking mostly, it was really cool. I wasn't either until I bought these figures. Uh, funny thing is, because I I bought like these came out before like some of them I should say the line started before the Origins line, right? So I remember they were in at Walmart, and the only ones I saw was Jake the Snake and Mr. T, and I almost didn't buy them. I was like, do I really want these? And I'm like, yeah, I'll get them just because I like Jake the Snake and I like Mr. T, and there's the classic accessories in there. I knew that at the time, so I'm so glad I bought them. Like, it, it, I would have really kicked myself in the air for not picking those two figures up. And I got, the, and I even went back, like, I think it was like two weeks later, and they brought them in again, and I bought them in doubles. <laughs> uh, let's see, speaking of I don't know who Roman Reigns is, but the figure looks cool. I don't either. I don't, I actually don't know. Out of these three characters, I would know Becky the most, and I barely know her. So, but Macho Man, yeah, he's my favorite, so... Uh, I've always known him, so I'm very happy to get my favorite character in wrestling. So that made my day. Uh, let's see, all music fan. If you if you get if you get Baker John Cena, you will love that figure. Oh, really, Baker John Cena? I think I know that one. That's the one where he's in blue, right? And he's got the black outfit on. I think I've seen that figure. I know who you're talking about. Hey, Carol, thank you for dropping in. If I haven't said so already, I probably did, but. I'm kind of all over the place. Uh, Brick something says, I love these figures. I have a few and have used their parts for Masterverse Customs. Good idea. Right on. Uh, speaking moistly, I stopped watching wrestling 20 years ago. That's kind of like me. I don't know how long it's been. Like I said, I think I stopped somewhere between 1995 and 1997, maybe. Probably right around 95. I just remember... Whatever year that was that Hulk Hogan switched over to the bad as the bad guy, right around that time I stopped watching it. 
I was kind of getting out of it. I was into whatever the next thing was. Uh, Allison, Troy, welcome in. Great to see you. Uh, Becky Lynch is cool. She's the teal of the WWE line, like Christina was saying. That's awesome. Uh, and Mike, because she calls herself the man of the wrestling show. Okay, that's cool. Becky does have red hair, but I think it was dyed. Right. That makes sense. Because it's, it's a real bright, like, orange here in the package, so I can only assume that it's dyed some, something similar Tasty to Tasty Cakes! Thank you for dropping in! Hey, cool, man! Uh, there's Ray Black. She's in the house. That's twin to you. Twin? Uh, let's see. I'll be Auntie Ray. Or Auntie Ray, I hear that most. Huh. Radical sister was uh, in charge tonight oh, at work. Funny. That's why she's a little late. Yeah, of course she's always in charge. She's been there for many years. She's been there a long time. She's she's um, a registered nurse, but I don't know the exact position. It's like the baby ward that she works in. That's the only thing I know. But she's been there a little long, long, long time. And Tasty Cake is in the house. Thank you for dropping in, buddy. It's good to see you. Uh, speaking of a tasty cake, we got some strawberries. I don't know if you've ever eaten freeze-dried strawberries, but you need to eat these things, buddy. These things are the bomb. I'm addicted to them. You get them at the dollar store, probably your Dollar Tree in, in the States, I would think. <laughs> Ray goes, I laugh my ass off. I like how Christina was like, that's twin to you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, princess. Didn't know I had to call her twin, but yes. all right then, as you wish. This is the way. <laughs> oh, you fucker. This is the way. You're not allowed to steal that line. I already did, so suck it up, princess. <laughs> that, line, that line belongs to Mando. This is the way. Okay, uh, next one, guys. Oh, okay. Um... I've been staring at this, so I, I gotta do. I gotta do this one. Uh, but you, ironically enough, you have to explain this one. <laughs> well, ironically enough, uh, I've been begging for this freaking figure for so long, and um, I was just talking to her about in the show, and who is it? But freaking Dazzler! <laughs> yes, I love this figure. I remember I passed on this in Toys R Us, and I um, I regretted it ever since I passed on it because I I didn't like I knew about the character because I remember the arcade video game. This is the character I always played as in the arcade game, the '90s one, and this is exactly what she looked like. This is what she wore, and I saw the figure and I was like, "Hey, that's the freaking chick from the." Uh, from the arcade game, the X-Men arcade game. And she has different looks. Like, I think her original look is the um, the disco outfit. And she's had different looks. And they have a different one with uh, the Mojo 3-pack. She looks different in that. But this is my preferred look. This is like the 90s fucking Dazzler to me. Oh, this is so cool, man. It says Power Effect Dazzler. So but, I'll show but, you guys. But he's not What's the story? Is, the story is... You wanted it, and I bought it, and uh -oh, you sent yeah. it with. <laughs> yeah, she bought it for me. And as we state the obvious, he's not spoiled or anything. No. Uh, Jesse, what are these four boxes? Um, Jesse just came in. He just wants a quick beat. So sure, can I can do that. Uh, we got Becky Lynch. 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 What did I say? Becky Lynch it's from Lynch. Masters of the WWE. So we got that one. Uh, we've got Finn Balor, we've got Roman Reigns, and my favorite wrestler of all time, Macho Man. Macho, Macho Man. Oh man, I'm going to be playing with this thing, I can't wait. This thing's going to be awesome. Ray says that's right, I get called Princess too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Uh, oh, oops, I hit the camera there. So here is Dazzler, and it says the Uncanny, uncanny X-Men, so it's the, like the retro card store style, and I love it. Uh, Power Effect, 
And she's got those cool things that I like. I wish that there's a lot of characters in the line that have these accessories. I've noticed it. And I'm quite okay with it because I like them. They kind of go on the wrist sort of thing. So that's really cool. Man, she looks so cool because it's the it's I I'm a sucker with the with the characters with the you know the brown coats or the bomb jackets or whatever you want to call them, the bomber jackets. They're so cool. And she's got like I wonder if that's the same belt as robes that hangs on her hip. It looks like the same one. I, I'm gonna have to compare that when we open her. Um, and in that wave, we've got uh, Silver Samurai, Cyclops. I want that Ice Man, uh, Wolverine, and I want that Storm as well because I've got the we've got the black one. We haven't opened it up yet, the one with the black outfit. But we need to open this, or we want. I want to get that one too eventually someday. That's cool. Um, Man, that is so awesome, Paul. Thank you, Mike cake. and Christina. Thank you both for sending this over to me, man. Tasty Cake says, uh, I've used Finn's armor for anti-Eternia He-Man. I have not seen Dazzler. Oh. Speaking Moistly says that his favorite wrestler is the nature boy, Ric Flair. Woo! Oh, you like Ric Flair? Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he's cool. I was watching some of the uh, like the promo videos that they do, and I can't stop watching the one Macho Man did. You guys probably know it. It's probably his most famous one, where he was sweating like buckets of freaking sweat, and he and it's about Hulkamania Five, and he's talking about Hulk Hogan, and he's like, "Oh, you don't think you know the Macho Man?" And I couldn't stop laughing the whole way through it. And something interesting that somebody mentioned in the comments, and I'm like, oh, my God, I totally forgot about that. And uh, I remember, I don't know if, uh, if I was the only one, but there's certain people in the comment sections that say the same thing. But I remember back when I was into wrestling, I didn't like the promos. I was one of those people that was like, oh, my God, get these over with. I just want to watch the matches. And this individual in the comment sections mentioned that. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's exactly how I felt. And now the complete opposite. Now I totally appreciate the promos because they're hilarious and it's a part of history and I love it. So it's so funny how I did a 180 turn and I'm not the only one. So I thought that was really interesting. So I'm just wondering if any of you guys felt the same way with those promos that they did. Thank you for dropping in, Stephen R. He says, hey, evening. Uh, love the WWE moto line. Wish they would not. They wish they would have kept them going. Yeah. And uh, there's Clifton. Thanks for dropping in, buddy. Love the WWE line. Yeah. Okay. So that's the one that you just read. Where do you see Clifton? Uh, well, that's who Steve, that's who Steve is. Now, you didn't I, know I, that? No. <laughs> no, I didn't oh, know. Oh, man, know I could have joked about this for ages. I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> I did not know that was Man, something. that would have been funny. I could have come up with some funny freaking things about that. Your mom says that her favorite wrestler is Andre Giant. Right. Oh, yeah, me and mom were talking about that the other day because uh, I was telling her about my... I was, talk, I was speaking about those promo things, and she was saying... Um, that her favorite wrestler is Andre the Giant. <laughs> so Ray says, okay, Twin and Christina, I got to get ready to hit the road. I'm jealous here with your honey, and I'm not well, joking. <laughs> but I'm excited to see Nolan. Drive safe, sweetheart, and let us know when you're there. Yeah, drive easy, eh? I mean, I'm not, but I'm excited to see. You must be, yeah, you must be heading over to Nolan's yes. tonight, right? Yeah. That's cool. Tell him, tell him to give us, give, give him our love. We miss him. Uh, Tasty Cake says, that's why I do my saying because of flair. It's your boy. <laughs> yeah, Macho Man does great promos. So does Scott Steiner, but not nothing like Ric Flair. Ric Flair's a pretty <laughs> cool because he's like, woo. Yeah, I remember him. My favorite wrestler is The Undertaker. All right. You're the you're same as Mike. I love The Undertaker. Mike. Because Mike was like, guess who my favorite wrestler is? And I'm like, well, it can't be Hulk Hogan. That's too obvious. Uh, and he's like, no. And he's like, think of somebody darker. I'm like, seriously, is it really The Undertaker? <laughs> and he says, yes. I'm like, damn, that's Christina's too. Yes, I love The Undertaker. Yes, he says yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I do drive safe, though. I got a little guy to take care of at home. Oh, right, right, yeah. yeah. It's all good, darling. Those, travels, pro those promos, though, like, it just takes me, like, a blast from the past, and they're so cool. I so appreciate them now. And um, as some of you guys know, I, I purchased um, – a WWE game that I'm gonna I'm gonna live stream and it, it didn't show up today, so it'll be the following Sunday, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. And <laughs> I want to actually do something a little different, other than just showing the gameplay and stuff. I want to show some of this, those promos, and I'm thinking about doing like the Slim Jim commercials that Macho Man did. So I was thinking about doing a little bit of that to kind of mix it into the live stream on Sunday. So it's gonna be fun. Cause I can't stop laughing about it. Where he says, hey, laugh my ass off on music. You never mind my driving. <laughs> Get out of my <laughs> way. Yeah. Please. She always does that teeth smiley face, like the innocent, like she's innocent. She is. Mm -hmm. I'm sure no, Nolan. Don't, I'm don't, sure don't, Nolan would say the opposite. Th th don't be talking about her like that. I'm sure Nolan would say the opposite. She's your twin, but you don't have the right to say that. That's why I know. Because <laughs> she's my twin. Well, there you go. All right, what's next? Let's do another one. You guys ready? What do we got? One, two, three, four. Holy crap, five. We're on six. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, ha -ha. sweet, man. We've got Masters of the WWE. Rick the Dragon Steamboat. This one's actually really heavy in the package. I think it's because of that dragon. Now, I know that that's the Classics Dragon, and that thing is freaking cool. So this is kind of, um, I'll go up and show you guys, but this is basically Ricky the Steamboat as Dragon Blaster Skeletor, right? So it totally makes sense. And, uh, yeah, this is a, another one of those figures that I really wanted. Uh, Heroic Master of Dragons. And... He's one of the one one of the ones in the line that I like so much because he comes with the dragon and he comes with Merman's uh, chest harness piece. <laughs> that is so freaking cool! Like Mattel, that was such a genius idea. This is so cool, and the dragon looks like he's a semi-translucent orange plastic or something like that. At least on the toes and the end of the tail. And yeah, I can't wait to get that sucker out. And it's got a metal ring for the lock. Now, there's no chain. I wish they would have gave him a chain, but that's okay. At least there's a cool padlock there. And it looks... I wonder if that... Is that padlock made out of metal or is that plastic? I'm not sure. But the, the metal ring, that, that's definitely made out of metal. <laughs> like a chain, whatever chain material is made out of. Uh, pretty cool. This is so freaking cool, man. Tasty, uh, Tasty Cake says, yes, classic dragon. Uh, Jeff says, dragon ticked me off. Mouth doesn't open low. <laughs> uh, it's even got, it's got Macho Man and Jake the Snake on the back. Oh, man, that's cool. Includes collector's booklet. And there you go. You can, I, th I don't think he snaps on or anything. From what I understand, he just rests on the shoulders, but that's okay. Um... Rick says, yeah, I have this guy use his armor on the Masterversal Masterverse Merman. Merman, right. With the Origin Lord's powerhead. Right, yeah, that's a good idea because Merman, the first version of Merman didn't come with the harness. Yeah, he and said, is, sadly, the dragon doesn't really connect to the figure, just kind of hangs, sort of. That's what I thought because I was watching reviews on him in the past, and I remember somebody, whoever it was I was watching, said that, that it doesn't click on or anything, but that's all right. Um, so, yeah, we who, who do we got? We got Becky in this this wave, and we got Ricky to this dragon steamboat. Cool, man. So who else is in there? We got Roddy, Rod, Rod, Roddy, Roddy Piper. Oh, my God, that's a tongue twister. Uh, Macho Man, so that's the Horde Macho Man that I mentioned there earlier, so there he is again, so that's cool. Oh man, this thing is cool. It's heavy, like, it has some weight to it. That, that always makes me happy when characters are really heavy, because it makes me feel like, uh, when you buy these things, you get your money's worth, because it's heavy. I don't know, I associate heavy with money's worth. I don't know why that is, <laughs> but that makes me happy. That is really cool. So one, two, three, four. Oh my lord, we got five of these masters of the WWE characters. I was not 
really expecting like all these cool figures. So this is really cool. Whew, well, gosh. what do we got? Um. Okay, so we got another one. Okay, we got we got, we got them. We got doubles. So we got another one. So there's another one in there. So this is an extra. So I'm either A, going to keep this on card, or B, use it as a trade material to somebody. So food for thought. <laughs> I'll make this up on the Dragon Wise and Classics. He says you will be up all night playing at him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, and then we got all oh, my soul. You guys, look at this. We got Roddy, 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 Roddy Piper. Yeah. Okay, man. This is cool because I really like Roddy. I, I really do like this guy. I always was very entertained with him in wrestling when I was watching him. And they got it nailed. So he's got the battle armor He-Man stuff going on once again. So that's cool. Just done in white, right? And it says Hot Rod on the top of the shirt. And he's got like that weird, not like weird in a bad way, weird in a good way, uh, a side open mouth. Because it's got his likeness. It's, it's perfectly fine. It's just I've never seen a face sculpt like that before where the mouth is open sideways like that. It's really different. And he's got the kind of the Skeletor sash to represent the kilt. So that's cool. He's got the He-Man uh, boots with the white. That's cool, man. Speaking wisely, says I'll trade for Ricky. Oh, you want to trade? We can possibly do that. Mm -hmm. uh, Brick says kick-ass haul. Mom says you're getting spoiled low. Uh, includes collector's booklet. We've got uh, Jake the Snake, and we got uh, man, I love that Jake the Snake. It's my favorite one in the line. Um, we've got a Macho Man again. Okay, so oh my lord, so we've got Becky, we've got now Ricky, and we got Roddy Roddy Piper, and now we just need the Macho Man one and the wave. That's um, uh, that's super ass sweet. I really like that. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We're on six. Holy crap. Speaking of this is rather Piper was a fun wrestler. Uh, All Music says, I like the I like this head on him compared to the one that they did in the Superstar line. Oh, I'll have to look at that because I haven't seen it. Speaking Moistly said, I'll send you a message on IG. Sure. Or maybe we can work something out. Sure. Maybe we can figure something out. That's and no problem. Jeff says, the blue axe is perfect for many Moto Origin figures. Okay. Uh, all right. So that was okay. So that was the double one. Okay. So that's all the WWE ones in there. That's okay. That was awesome. Uh, we also have oh two more. <laughs> another surprise. <laughs> oh, another surprise. And yeah. Oh man. Well, Christina spilled the beans on this one to me. Yeah. Well, I kind of. She shouldn't that. have. You shouldn't have did this because. Anyway, shush. This really meant the world to me. <laughs> um, and there's a little bit of the top. Oh, well, that's interesting. So we've got, these are these are a couple loose ones, and that's fine. Uh, we've got Sightlock from X-Men, Le Marvel Legends X-Men. And I've been eyeballing this damn thing, <laughs> and I keep talking about her. And because I have this love triangle with Rogue and Sightlock, to take who takes number first place is my favorite X-Men character. Ultimately, Rogue basically took it, but I still love this character. This would be right behind her. Um, what do we got here? I know it doesn't have... Okay, this is not all the accessories, but that's okay. So we got the... I'll just show you guys. It's, it's got like a, like a pink headpiece. I'm going to do... I'm probably going to do a separate review on this one. So I'm just going to keep it minimal. She does have... A, like a pink thing that she's she's well known for that goes on her hand, like the psychic energy thing. <laughs> and she looks like she has a sword that didn't come with her. I'm pretty sure she came with a pink sword, not this one. So I don't know who this belongs to. I don't know. We'll talk more about that uh, when I do a live yes, stream. Yes, I'm glad you found her as well. 
She, um, let me tell you, man, the, uh, this figure is ridiculously expensive in Canada. Like, you guys take a number and guess how much this figure is in Canada. And I'll tell you if you're close or not. It's ridiculously high. <laughs> um, Taste Your Trade says, I bought Jake with a broken leg, so I used the armor of Skeletor and had him cut Jake's leg off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, cool. I'll get to the... Okay, so we're going to do the final one. Uh, and we do have... Oh, right. Okay, we do have something else. What is this? Her art. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we have the card art and stuff like that. So it's the box. It's just flattened. So what I'll do is I'll just... I'll talk about that when we do her review. Because I'm going to do a review on her. I have to. She's, I'm too much of a fan of her, so I'll definitely have to do that. Uh, we got one more loose figure, and it's last but not freaking least. Yeah, like speaking wisely, just said 150. Brick said 125 to talk to her. Yeah, you guys are pretty much spot on. Between 125 and 150 is what I seen her for. It was <laughs> it was absolute ridiculous. You guys like totally nailed it. <laughs> that is very high for a loose freaking Marvel Legends <laughs> figure. Right, just hit the like button, folks. Yes, please do so. Oh, all music that was totally freaking reminded me. Thank you, thank you. I'm an idiot. We accept. Uh, no, our goal tonight is for a twenty-five dollars super chat. We're trying to push hard so that we can get our PC upgrade. We really need to get it. Um, so that's a goal for tonight. So if you guys are interested in super chat and even just a couple bucks, that would be wonderful. The goal is twenty-five bucks tonight. <laughs> Ray says, can't control women over 35. You can try, love joking. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff goes, no comment, right? <laughs> uh, so here we go. Last but not least, and this is really nice because I've never had this character before. And you guys know me. I love Mask. And we've got Iguana. So Mike sent over his extra iguana he's got he, he didn't real i think he i think he said he bought two of them and didn't realize he had a, a uh, an extra one so he had asked if i'd be interested and i was like hell yes it's mask and i don't care what it is if it's mask i want it and uh it's from what i understand it's complete he's got his helmet and i'm gonna do a review on this too so I'm going to have a mask episode coming in the future specifically about this character. And I'm going to bring in my other mask toys too, because I love this franchise and I want this to come back of all the toy franchises that haven't been revived yet. <laughs> this is the one that I want the most is mask. Please Hasbro bring this back for the love of heavens. Uh, they just renewed the trademark license in, in I think it was January 1st, uh, their patent license on it. So maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, but yeah, there we got the iguana. So that is freaking cool, man. Like that right there is the cat's ass. Uh, that makes me so happy. I've never, I never even seen this one. I didn't have any friends that had this one. So this is, this is a real treat just to have it in my hands. Pretty cool. Speaking wisely, since Brick knows his stuff, Brick says, let's go on prices right, speaking wisely. <laughs> <laughs> let's go on the prices right. Tasty Treats, uh, Tasty Cake says, I got uh, Cyclop. I had to buy the second head, black and purple hair. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There is a variant. This is the black hair one, and there's a purple hair variant that they that they reissued. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first issue one. And then they did her again with purple hair. So, yeah. That's right, too. Speaking voices. So I like them both. To brick. Uh, show, I don't have a preference. Showcase showdown. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's great. MS figure. Uh, by, <laughs> brick says, by the end of the stream, we won't be able to see you guys anymore. Ah. That line needs to come back. Uh, hmm. Wow, I see a total of 18 people in the chat tonight. That's yeah. awesome, man. <laughs> the cat's I ass. consider that's an awesome night. <laughs> Jeff obviously never heard you say that before. Uh, he goes, the cat's ass, that's a new one, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> 
We say that here. Um, Mom says it's a New Brunswick saying. I, maybe it's a New Brunswick thing, but we it's kind do of a Canadian thing. Or is, a or is, of, a it, it, it. It's been a moment since I heard anyone else say it, though. But I've heard a lot of people saying it, like in like probably the nineties. Maybe it's been a moment since I heard people say it myself. Cyclops sealed is like a hundred bucks. That's tasty. Is that in Canada? Because that doesn't sound right in Canada. No. Uh, or is that United States? Brick said, said it's 125. Canadian? That sounds more reasonable. Yeah. That more, sounds more accurate. Last time I checked it anyway. I mean, that's the... Yeah, there you go. U.S. He says U.S. Now that makes complete sense. Because that would Prices. convert to like 125 Canadian. But So now, now we're making sense. I haven't heard that one for a while, right? Just sitting here in SK, I say the bee's knees low. I haven't heard that one in a while. The bee's knees, yeah. The bees. I, I've heard that before, too, but I haven't heard that one in a while, either. <laughs> Jeff goes, the bee's knees low? <laughs> Let's see. Speaking moistly, says Ro Rowdy Piper was a fun wrestler. He was. He was very fun. Even off camera, like, when I, when I watched his interviews... It's like he couldn't keep a straight face and and, st and look at you or, or anything like that. His eyes were all around the place. I noticed that about him. Like he kind of seems a little bit like he like his character on screen. So I, I thought it was kind of interesting. Sir Clifton says, "Been seeing people picking up the Voltron re reissue." Yeah, I only found the Black Lion. Uh, let's see. I, I like this head on him compared to the one they did in the Superstars line. Oh, right. You were just saying that too. Yeah. That's, I, I haven't seen the Superstars line one. I'll have to look at it and check it out and see what it looks like. But this one's kind of says the, the Mafex, uh, Cyclops sealed is 150 Canadian. Which one? The... Mafex, Mafex, F A M A X. I bought uh, M A F E X. <laughs> Tasty cake. I bought a Jake with a broken leg, so I used the armor for Skeletor and cut, and had him cut Jake's leg off. Oh yeah, the the black battle armor, or whatever. Yeah, that's cool. That's my favorite one in the line is the Jake the Snake one. And then I think it's Mister T, and then probably that Macho Man. At least out of the ones that I own. I got in the Roddy Piper Superstar. Yeah, hit the like. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Uh, I'm just glad. I'm glad I found her for you. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. Like, you went above and beyond here. Just <laughs> but spending. the funny part about that one is he sent you a picture of that one. And Which one? That one. Her. It's like, oh. Oh, I didn't tell you the story. There's a story behind this one. Uh, it's, it's, it's a funny story. Two bastards. Uh, <laughs> but you left me. <laughs> okay, so Mike showed me photos because I was talking about how thank much I Thank you, wanted. Nolan. Oh, my God, Nolan, thank you so much. For him and Ray. A little something. To I'll, I'll read it, and, and I'll read it in a sec. I'm so anxious to tell the story tell before the story. I forget. Because if I don't tell the story, I will forget. <laughs> okay, so there's this story about this character and it was one of the ones that i was talking to mike and christina how much i really wanted it and uh because i was looking at it and i'm like but it's ridiculously expensive and mike shows me a photo oh guess who showed up in shop and it was cyclock and i was like and at the time i thought he was at the store because i was having a heart attack i said are you in the store and he's like hold just hold it please Thanks, guys I'm holding. What am I holding? I don't know, because you're saying on. I know you want to say something. No, I'm good. You're good. Go ahead. So, anyways, yeah, so at the time, I thought he was in the store. And he said, no. He says, he says this is just like, I don't know if it was the Facebook page or whatever it was. I'm like, oh, damn. And he's like, uh, he's like, well, I'm going over there Saturday, and if she's there, I'll pick her up for you. And I'm like, oh, please do. Please do, or whatever. And so he goes to the store. I think it was on Saturday. And I get talking to him. Christine is not saying anything about this the whole time, right? And and I ask, I, I said, uh, so but by any chance did that Cyclops show up in the in the store? He's like, no, nah, it wasn't there. It must have been sold out. That motherfucker bought it. <laughs> he bought it and he didn't tell me. <laughs> because I got him to buy it. <laughs> well, Christina bought it, but he picked it up. And I'm sitting there like, 
you know, just completely bummed out. It's like, oh, damn. I was like, oh, well, you can't, you can't win them all, right? You can't win every single one of them. It is what it is. But I wanted it so bad. And then Christina decides to spill the freaking beans about it. I'm like, I was almost as, I, was, I don't know what made me more angry. Because they lied to me or because she spoiled it on me. Because I wanted to, I would have loved it to be a surprise, right? <laughs> Oh, you got a dirty mouth? This mic rated our live stream low. I'm like, you two bastards. <laughs> like, yeah, you went and you did it. You went and you bought it for me. So thank you so much. Like, it meant the world to me to get this figure. It really did. Like, oh, man. That made me so happy. I said like, tears of joy. I was he's so like, happy. He's like, he really wants this one. I'm like, really? He goes, yeah. I said, what's the price on him? And he told me the price. I was like, get it. <laughs> How did you even know? Like uh, because he sent me. He what oh, you don't realize he, is he, he will send he it to sent me. you he the will photo. Tell me what oh, you like. okay. See, so there's going to be a lot more oh, that you may not know about. <laughs> I get it. Okay, I get it now. Because I was trying to figure it out. Well, how the hell did you even know that the figure was there in the first place? <coughs> so now it makes sense. That it's, made my day. It's okay if you're late, um, John. We can quickly go over the figures again. That's not a problem, huh? Yeah, no worries. No worries. Um, let's let's go back to the chat, though, because I know you were so anticipated. I am. Uh, let's see. It's what the, uh, Clifton says, been seeing people picking up the Voltron reissue. I only found the Black Lion. Man, I've... I've been saying to this day how much I would I I will never own a complete Voltron set because of their how expensive they are, right? I know I'm always complaining about prices, but it, I'm I'm the I'm the I'm the elephant in the room that keeps the cost down. That's just the way that I am. I can't help it; it's in my nature. Uh, but I am so envious for you because that was the lion that I owned when I was a kid. He was I think he was the only one. I might have had Hunk too. I remember I had the black lion, and I might have had. The yellow one, which was hunk. So I'm envious for you because those are freaking cool. Anything Voltron is really nice to have. Uh, what do we got? I just want to make sure I'm not out of placement here. No, you're not. Here in SK, I say the bees knees. Okay, <laughs> I get what you're saying now. I've got him. I got. I've got him. The Roddy Piper Superstars figure. Okay. Well, you're gonna have to show me that one, Mike. Holy frick! Nolan, twenty-five dollars super chat, buddy. You and Ray are the cat's ass tonight, and that's actually a, a, a term of endearment. I know it sounds bad, but it's actually not. It's actually a term of endearment, <laughs> even though it doesn't it doesn't come off that way. Uh, a little something from Ray and myself. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it, man. That's really nice of you. Twenty-five dollars. You broke the, or you, 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 you made, got, you made, you, your threshold. you made the threshold that I wanted. That is going, that's going directly towards the PC. And I'm telling you guys, whenever I get the PC, I'm going to show it to you guys. I'm going to be one of those people. When you donate something, I'm going to show you what you put your money towards. I'm going to be one of those guys. So you, you, thank you so much, man. Speaking nicely. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Carol says you guys are great. And speaking moistly, ten dollars super chat, man. What are we? Thirty bucks? Holy frick, man! Thirty-five. You guys are like spoiling us here. Thirty-five. Uh, really appreciate that. Speaking moistly, thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you, mom. Uh, let's see. Oh, radical mom, five dollars. Cool, man. Awesome. So what? What are we at now? Third, twenty-five. 30, twenty-five, thirty-three, uh, forty. I can't do math. I noticed. <laughs> can't do math at all. Not when I'm all, not when I'm like in the middle of live and stuff. I can't numbers. I'm weird because numbers don't work in my brain. I can sit there and look at anything in the world and I can completely draw it. But you put numbers in my mind and it's just like a bunch of zeros and one scramble. I, they don't make sense to me. I was never good with numbers. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, you guys, man. Thank you so much for the super chats. Not required, obviously, but really appreciate you guys doing <gasps> oh it. I I'm gonna say I want my piece of the most twenty five dollars worth. Joking, I gotta go now. <laughs> oh, uh, Je Jeff, rated our rated our live stream. I apologize if you know for the swearing, but sometimes you know he gets sometimes overly excited. I get overly excited, and sometimes they will come out, but I I keep them to a minimal. 
you know, I, re I really keep to a minimal because I know there are people out there that don't like the cuss words live, and I, I totally get it. I totally try to respect it as much as I can. Um, sometimes they slip out, though, when you're excited, so. Drive safe, Ray. Uh, let's say, damn, I'm late. I had notifications that, uh, 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 I had notifications on, ain't seen no notification. I know, isn't that YouTube's work so funny that way? But don't worry, John, I'll show you the, I'll show the figures off again in a minute. That's not a problem. I don't mind doing it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mike says, and I also messaged Galactic Comics and asked them to hold it for me. Oh, okay. I think, you, I think you told me that later on. I think you told me after the fact. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, that comic place, the comic yeah. slash toy shop that you go to, they seem really, really good down there. It seems really good. But I mean, you, you, you're, you're probably a pretty valuable customer down there. Because I know you go and you, you spend quite a bit down there. So, And they got some really cool shit. Uh, see, there I go again. Swear words coming out. Um, um, says no, you, no, you're good, Adam. Low. Um, I would do that too. <laughs> What was I going to say now? Oh, yeah. We're, we're, uh, next time you go down, um, I'll, I'll send you a few extra bucks or whatever. But next time you go down, see if you can just get a couple of cheap comic books. We'll, we've, we've talked about this, but we'll talk again about it um, before the next time you go down. Maybe we can get some. I'm trying to get a few more comic books. You already know this, the ones with the cool ads in it. So like the old inexpensive comic books. Something kind of fun just to do for some live streams. That'd be kind of neat. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's okay, John. Mary won't chew you out like he does me. She's got me, uh, timed? Yep, timed. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dave. Oh, David, $13.99, Super Chats of $14, you might as well say. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, That's really cool. Bucks. How much? 54 Holy, 54. So I think that's going to hit, I think that's going to hit the payment threshold. Yep. I think it will because it's, I don't know for you guys that don't know, but in order to get your super chats and all your, uh, your donations and stuff like that, it has to hit a hundred dollars threshold. Um, and I think that's American. I think that's USD. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's how it works. But anyway, once you hit this hundred dollars threshold, then, then you can withdraw it. So I think we're going to hit it because I think I think the past couple weeks we had some, some nice super chats. So we really appreciate it, guys. It's all going towards the PC. That is the first thing that I'm getting out right because we're, we're past the halfway mark now. So getting very close. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much once again, David, and all the rest of you guys and just all your general support. Uh, no, you're good, Adam. I would too. Yeah, I I couldn't contain it. I mean, come on. I got I got a dazzler. I was so excited. I got friggin' Psychlock, and I'm just overwhelmed. I don't know what you know. Like, I'm just overwhelmed here. <laughs> this is just too awesome. <laughs> yes, this is freaking awesome sauce. What 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 else? Uh, uh, and I know Mike understands this, but some people might not understand this. Is it's not just the fact that being so kind to do this is uh this is like weeks of content for the Plus. channel for, for the channel it really helps the grow the channel and it I, I just can't appreciate it any more than possible but <laughs> we have something special planned for mike's birthday we have something planned for him and his birthday is in august, august yeah. so i guess something planned for him because mike really deserves something nice and i'm gonna <laughs> do something that I can for him. <laughs> Your mom says, yes, Christina, I got Jeff timed. Um, let's see, I'm going to uh, say. Thank you, speaking moistly. Awesome uh, Ray says, I'm going to say I want my piece of the mouse. $25 for <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Are, are you haven't left yet? Are you She's still? She's gone. Okay. So she finally left? Yes. Uh, let's see. No, you're good, Adam. I would too. Okay, I read that one. I don't know. I don't know you. Know me, you radical. <laughs> yes, Christy, I got Jeff time. My pleasure, says David. Thank you so much, man. An awesome, awesome sauce. Love my fellow East Coast, Coast Canadians. Canadians. Yeah, for sure. You gotta love the, uh, you know, the Canadians. <laughs> Americans are cool too. I mean, everybody is. 
I'm home. You're on the big screen now, Rattle oh, Boys. I'm gonna uh -huh. have to, oh, okay. It, I had a little bit of delay. I'm home. You're on the big screen now, Radical Toys. Ha <laughs> ha. So you're gonna have to go through these again. Yeah. Okay. I'll and, okay. and I mean, uh, Loretta didn't see them either, no. so I'll, I'll go through them. J John's definitely gonna want to see these. Oh, I have a Charlie horse in my leg. Okay, so uh, we'll just go through them again quickly there. <laughs> No problem. Oh. And then we'll just talk about whatever you guys want to talk about for a bit. That's perfectly fine. I have a Charlie horse. Uh, we've got uh, Roddy. Uh, Roddy Ro Rowdy. Roddy Piper. That is such a twister for me. I could barely say it. Um, really nice. Beautiful figure. He, I really enjoyed him in wrestling. Uh, pretty cool. Be interested. So what we're going to do is we're going to break these up. Uh, for the channel because you guys know that we do live streams on Wednesday night unboxings and then we do them on Friday night So we're gonna divide them. Uh, I'm gonna do the X-Men and I don't know I'm gonna do the mask and the sight lock uh, uh, On my channel on a Wednesday night and then we'll probably do most of these probably here on Friday night So we'll do we're gonna do them like one by one We're gonna dedicate dedicate each week episode to each characters the plan so that's the plan for what we're going to do. But here's Roddy Piper. Uh, we got Becky Lynch. Pretty cool. She's got that whole Tila motif going on there with the shield and the cost at. Oh, oh, by the way, Mike, drop your link in there once again. Because now we got everybody in here. Drop your link to your toy channel. Uh, and you guys definitely check out Mike's toy channel because he's got, uh, he's got a lot of cool stuff. A lot of vintage stuff and some modern stuff as well. So you guys might be looking for a very particular part for maybe a Masters of the Universe figure, for example. So uh, there's a good chance Mike might have it. Pretty cool. So, yeah, there's Finn, Finn Balor. I assume I'm, am I saying that right, Finn Balor? I'm not fairly familiar with this character because, I, like I said, guys, uh, I left WW. I call it WWF still. Um, I, I left it right around uh, the time that Hulk Hogan went over to the bad side over at NWO. So uh, I'm not familiar with this guy, but he looks cool. And did anybody tell me in the chat if this is a classic chest piece that this comes with? Does anybody yeah. know if this is a reused <laughs> part, the harness part? Nobody said Because I don't actually know the answer to it. John might know the answer. John, maybe there. John, maybe John, you know the answer to it. Because he knows a lot of it. Because I'm not things. familiar with that chess piece, and I can't think of any Masters of the Universe character that would use that. But anyway. And yes, Radical Sister, I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, we got Roman Reigns. He's another one I'm not familiar with. I do not know this character, but I'm digging the tattoo on the freaking arm. And he, cause he's got the He-Man shield, so that's cool. I can only assume that it's the classic <laughs> shield, but I guess we'll find out once we open it up. Uh, and this one, I do know Ricky, this, uh, Ricky, the dragon steamboat, obviously, cause him and Macho Man had like what a lot of wrestlers would call the best episode in the entire WW, uh, F time, uh, the match that they had. I think that was WrestleMania three, if I'm not mistaken. Um, pretty cool. Uh, this is a, this one I really like because of the whole merman harness and the, the dragon blaster Skeletor dragon. Pretty cool. And now, I know it's not going to squirt water, but I'm totally and digging the... you have the doubles the on water. that one? Yeah, and we have doubles of it. So. Which you and Speaking Moistly... Right, I, I believe Speaking Moistly wants it, so yeah, we can figure something out for you, buddy. No problem, if you if you really want it. Uh, here's Macho Man Randy Savage, which is my favorite wrestler of all time, and... I like this one, actually. I like both the ones that they released, but this is the one that I like more. This is the one that I really wanted. Um, pretty cool. He's got the orange trunks, and you're obviously going to be able to take the uh, armor piece off. It's just the battle armor piece there, and the helmet comes off, I believe. And he's got man and arm accessories, and really nice figure. Beautiful. So that's that's the that's the WWE ones that we got, and we got Dazzler. Um, I really wanted her. Uh, you guys know me by now. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a fan of the chicks. Like that's just my thing. I like the female characters, especially when it comes to comics, video games, and even drawing artwork. I prefer to draw the females. Um, so yeah, this this one really made my day. Oh, I I just seen that on screen. 
We'll we'll get it in a second here. I just um, saw it. Uh, he says, "Oh, John says those are all great figures." <laughs> Speaking of voice, I like six, six two. two. <laughs> Touche. And we also got. Um, I put it right there. Oh, thank you. I was looking for it. We got Sight Lock. Uh, I, I won't. I won't go over the story again. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to know the story behind this one, definitely look, definitely rewind the video. But uh, what I will, I will say the short version of it. Uh, Christina bought this figure for me. Mike delivered it, and they both kind of fibbed to me and told me that it was gone because <laughs> I knew it was at Mike's store, and I asked about it, and he said it was sold. So the the two bastards lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> they they actually bought it for me. And I was, I didn't, I, I don't know, I had mixed emotions about that. <laughs> Ultimately, I was so happy to get her. I was so happy. Uh, so that was really cool that I got that. And uh, one that I, another one that I'm very excited about, because I don't get, I don't get to do too many episodes about Mask. And I've only done a couple. And we're going to be doing Iguana. So I'm going to dedicate a video to Iguana in the near future. Um, very excited about this and the action feature and all that funky stuff that it does. So we got Iguana, and yeah, I'm excited to do Mass too. So there's thank a lot of cool you, stuff Radical here. Sister. Oh yeah, let me get back to the chat because now we can just. I'm gonna see if I can just put some of these up without them covering our faces. Because now it's just time to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Mike says, tell that story you were going to tell the other night about, I think, Christina and her game. Oh, my Lord. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you, Mike. Uh, we will talk. We'll talk about that. That'll be, that'll be a perfect conversation to break into just talking about whatever. Because it's not, it's not toy related. It's just random related. Um, yeah, that's good. And I can't figure out how to do this. So that's just, just leave them sitting there. Are you guys yeah, okay with that? Just them yeah, yeah, down can't like that? kind of put them up because they'll be in people our face. Yeah, that one definitely will be. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep them down. Maybe we can stand sight lock up. We'll stand her up. We can we can put her up. We do have our accessories there. That's fine. We'll stand her up. There we go. Macho man can come in the scene. Is that hiding your face? No. No, it's not. They can't see it though. No, but now he's hiding my face. All right, never mind. I'll just put it down. I'm indecisive. Indecisive, obviously. Yeah, tell it to somebody who doesn't know that. <laughs> okay, yes. Thank you, Mike. I'll tell that story in just a second, as soon as I get caught up with the chat. Uh, okay, so I do like the Roman Reigns figure, even though I don't know I'm right. I, I don't either. I just like the figure because, obviously, it's the Origins line. It's the same He-Man buck, right? So... Anything the Origins line related is going to be up my alley anyway. Uh, <laughs> I like chicks, too. Uh, let's see. Those are great figures. Yes, they are. I th if I'm not mistaken, John. You have the whole line. Do you not thus far? Like, do you not have the whole line? I thought you. I think you thought, thought it might have been you that was telling me that you have the whole line in the WWE. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if you do. They're cool. Oh, and Loretta, Radical Sister, thirteen nine four, another fourteen dollars super chat. What do we have? Holy frig! You guys are spoiling us. Hang on, I gotta do this. So that is so cool. It's twenty five, ten, and five. So that's forty. Thirteen ninety nine for so fourteen for days. So like fifty that's bucks. Fifty four. No. More fifty four. Fifty four. And then 13 from Loretta, which puts us at about 68. Oh, man. Thank you so much. That's like it's now I'm going to be at like I'm going to be I'm going to be right around 650 towards the PC. Like we're getting pretty close. It's starting to climb. So thank you, guys. You guys went way past the threshold. I was just, you know, going to set it for 25 and wasn't expecting to get a nickel. So thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh. There, there's Mike say tell that story. I'll get to it as soon as I finish the chat. A uh, superstore, superstore. <laughs> That's a. Uh, do you guys have superstore in uh, the United wow, States? It's, it's a grocery that store. That was like it's a grocery random. store. That it's, was it's a grocery store. It's called superstore. I don't know if you guys have it in the United States. 
Uh, I read it as Superstore. Superstars has done the same exact way as Masters of the WWE. Right. Because it's, is, is it not the same buck, the Superstars ones? Because I don't have any of those figures yet, and I want to get some of them. The one that I really want to go after, the number one that I want to get go after in the Superstars line, is because I'm a big fan of that character, too, and it's Mr. Perfect in the green outfit. When Mike showed that to me, I'm like, oh, Mike, why'd you do this to me? Now I want this figure. <laughs> Because <laughs> I didn't know who they made him, right? And I'm like, oh, I forgot about Mr. Perfect. I love him in the in the green attire. And, and they made it in the Superstars line. John says he has the entire line. Oh, you do have the entire line, like the Masters of the WWE one? Oh, man, I'm jealous. That's cool. Which one's your favorite one? Uh, what's the other? What's the one that glows in the dark? That's the Undertaker one, right? Yes. That one would be cool. Not just because it goes in the dark, it's simply because it's uh, dark. Tasty Cake says no Superstore. Okay, so you don't have a Superstore in the States. It must be a Canadian thing then. But there's a show called The Superstore, which he's right. There he is. Don't think we have it here in the U.S., at least not on the West Coast. Okay. All right, Brick. Thank you so much for dropping in. TV greatly, shoe. greatly appreciate your Got a run night, y'all. Thanks, Brick. Appreciate you chilling out and hanging out with this man. I really, uh, really appreciate that. Thank you. Um... Sir Clefton says Roman Reigns, the way the WDE tribal. There team. was a store, a, a show called Superstore. I don't remember that. It still is. What year? What year did they? That it's, I don't know. It's, it's like still, a, it's still on Netflix. Is it like yeah? But is it like an old show or is no. it like a new show? I don't know. I don't even. I've never watched it. I just know it's on there. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter was expensive, so I only picked so many from that line. Uh, yeah, Sergeant Slaughter. I I didn't get him. I thankfully got the G.I. Joe Classified one. I didn't think I was going to get that. I just happened to get that in Toronto, Ontario when we were visiting Radical Sister. I managed to find it. I was very happy to get that figure. Undertaker glows in the dark. Rick the Dragon Steamboat comes with the dragon. Andre the Giant is absolutely Literally huge. huge. My absolute favorite is my Stone Cold Steve Austin one with the two snakes on his arms. That is that the one that comes. Hello, Night Train. Is that the one that comes with the ring? Because I know isn't there a Stone Cold that comes in the ring, and then there's one with the the metal jaw that they're supposed to be trap jaw, and he comes with trap jaw arm, but it's silver. That's Stone Cold, right? See, and this figure, that's the qualms of your girlfriend talking to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Hey, and, Night Train. And, 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 your, and your friends knowing that I would say, hey, get that for him. <laughs> okay, so we're uh, talking about what Mike's talking about with the story. You're going to love this one. So we're sitting here. We're sitting here playing uh, on a Friday night, right? Play, she likes to play the games. I usually you know, let her play her games for Friday night, and I watch her. And she's sitting here playing her games. We got our drinks are right here, and then we, I got this big ass bowl of fucking popcorn, right? Sorry about swearing. It wasn't popcorn, I got this, it was chips. So, okay, it was, was it chips? Yes. Okay, sorry, it was chips. I thought it was popcorn. It was a big bowl of chips. I just filled it up. It was our last treat on the planet in this house. <laughs> Everything was closed. And I just sat down and get ready to enjoy this bowl, big bowl of chips. And when she plays video games, there's things that jump out at you, and uh, you know how you play video games, things will jump out at you and stuff like that, especially horror games. Thankfully, you're never going to play a horror game. I'm never going to let you. Uh, she, <laughs> if you wish. She, um, there's this part in Horizon, I, I can't explain it, but there's this enemy that jumped out at her, and she goes, oh, and the whole fuck. The whole chip ball just flies all over the place, and I'm like, seriously? Seriously? Okay, so I get into my games. Like, I just put the chips in the bowl. I didn't even get to eat one. <laughs> and they go flying. Her feet are flying up in the air. Her arms are like this. I don't know where the controller went. And... <laughs> On my lap. And... and uh, and and to answer your question, Sir Clifton, yes, we actually have a couple more up there, and he has a couple of more. Yeah. He's asking if we have any other ones. So <laughs> we actually have uh oh, I can't remember half your names now. What you, what when, what is he what's the question? He's asking if we had any more WWE figures. Oh yeah, yeah, we do. We got um 
We got uh, oh, three of them up there. We got um, the warrior Goldberg, and we got uh, this one's. This one's a double. This one's gonna go up to Mike. This one's uh, uh, Seth Rollins or Seth Rollins. I can't pronounce the last name right, but we got that one. It's got the Zoda. It's got the uh, Wonder Bread He Man armor on him. Um, and we've got more than that too. I've got I've got Jake the Snake, Mister T, uh, Stephanie McMahon. I can't think of who else I might have in the line. It was I think it's Wave Six and Wave Four that we have. I think those are the two waves. But yeah, go no. back to that freaking chip incident. No, I learned my lesson to not put chips in the middle of the table. It wasn't in the middle of the table. It was on the edge of the table. So when I turned around and I got well, terrible, it went funny. Well, excuse me for trying to be curious, cur courteous to you so that you can have one first. Well, the next time But I unfortunately, the floor had one first. <laughs> the whole bowl. The next time you have to put it in the middle of the table, it won't fall off there. My lord, it was my last treat. <laughs> I think I've since made up for that. What? I think I've since made up for that. Mm. Yeah, I have. Mm. You're spoiled, flipping rotten. You get treats every friggin' weekend. But I want that bag of chips. Well, you had some of it. You no, the front the floor did. But any, anyway, so I told Mike the story, and he, and he, and he, he was laughing. And I think I was pretty serious at the time. <laughs> I was feeling pretty serious about it. And, yeah, whatever. It ain't no good for you to get miffed with me because it doesn't get you anywhere. So you might as well just laugh and read it off. Because <sighs> I couldn't imagine you playing a horror game. Like something like Resident Evil. Like with the lights. Like, what <laughs> Jeff says, hope you had the, the light. The controller would go through your new TV. No, I don't throw the controller. My arms and legs make well, it. Well, I got flying. Throwing. No, it didn't. It was on my lap. I, all I see, all I seen was your big toes up in the air. My toes are big. What are you talking about? <laughs> your big toe. Everybody has a big toe. Hello. They're petite. Smooth they're sailing up. Smooth. Yeah. Re smooth recover up. No, smooth. No, no it wasn't. <laughs> that, was like <laughs> that was pretty smooth. I gotta admit, that was pretty smooth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, well, actually, Night Train, my floors, my daughter keeps telling me on a continuous basis that my floors are clean enough to eat off. So, yeah, he could eat it off the floor. <laughs> yeah. We are getting technical. I always get technical. It is what it is. Yeah, tr uh, Triple H. No, I don't have Triple H. No, we I, don't, don't. I don't have him. No. I don't have him. Um, I know, and I, I don't have Hulk Hogan. Did they make him outside of the ring? Because I know they made him with the ring, but they made did they make a single carded one of him? I don't think they did. I mean, I'm wrong. I don't think they did. Like oh. I, I know they made the NWO I, one. I mean, the Hulkamania one with the what, trippy yellow and red. Adam, admit he's wrong. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I do all the time. I've been saying it all freaking night that I'm wrong. But again, you admit you're wrong. All friggin' night I've been saying I'm wrong. What are you talking about? My nephew threw his candy bar across the yard and I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> night train, can you not eat off the floor? Well, I, I gotta admit, she's like Danny Tanner. If you guys don't know who Danny Tanner is, uh, Bob Saget from Full House. You know how clean he was in the show? Well, her floors are like that. So Mr. Clean slash Danny Tanner. Like... Did I tell you guys the other story? This is how clean her floors are. I'm going to tell you this story. I don't know if I told you this one. She, I think she was working at the time. I think you were working. Probably. I think you were. When am I not working? And uh, I came in the door. I took my shoes off. I had my socks on. I took one step on the floor. And next thing you know, my face was meeting the floor. And I didn't know what was going on. And I, apparently she had cleaned the floors, just had cleaned the floors or something shortly before I got in. And I, yeah, my face met the floor. And I was like, what the hell? I almost broke and woke, I almost whacked my ass off the table. Like the table's right here. I'm over there. And next thing you know, I'm, 
I mean, at least you have one thing to say. At least your girlfriend's clean and you don't have to worry about her. You know, I'm, pr- I'm pretty thin. I'm pretty bony. I don't have much of an arse. So if I hit my arse, it's going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so that's how clean the floors are. So yeah, to answer your question, I probably could eat the chips off the floor. I could probably do that. <laughs> My but do I want to? Not really. Unless you like the taste of Mr. Clean or Pine Salt or whatever you use. I hope you don't use Pine <laughs> exactly, Salt. Exactly. My nephew threw a candy bar across the yard and I ate it. Waste not, <laughs> what not. <laughs> my ne- uh, let's see, Night Train, my nephew threw a candy bar across the yard and I ate it. Waste, Waste not, what not. Exactly. Well, there's the five second rule or 15 second rule as long as you ran over there and you picked it up and you grabbed it, right? Before the ants got to it. Yeah, bone to the floor. Exactly, sis. <laughs> Just talking about Superstars you. Hogan is the best. Hollywood Hogan was a great storyline. Cool. Yeah, because that's that Hollywood. Is that the one? I get that one mixed up with the NWO one. Which one is? Is that the Hollywood Hogan Jay! one? Jay! Oh, the you got to show them black? again. Huh? You got to show them again. Jay Hobbies? Jay he just came in. Yes, All right. Did. Well, he just missed. He just missed the stories of a lifetime. He just said, damn, late for the party. Hey, but at least you still show showed for the party. He, he missed he really missed the, the, the store two stories of a lifetime. And taste I uh, saved you the trouble, buddy. Tasty cake. Looks like John answered your question, hon. He asked if Hogan was a single card and John just answered him. Uh, let's see. Yes, they did. Triple H has a single card. Okay, so Triple H has a single card. So Hulk Hogan had a single card, like no, the Hulk Mania one. No, just said no. You read John's message. Hogan was not a single card. Oh, I missed that one. On the Masters of a WWE, you could only get Hogan in the Snake Mountain Wrestling Ring. Oh, okay, so I was right then. However, okay. there are about five. Why well, wasn't down that far? Of Hulk Hogan superstars, I was talking to Tasty Cake because he asked questions. Oh, well, I had the same question. Well, then I guess you got the answer. <laughs> However, there are about five rend- rend- uh, renditions in Hulk Hogan. Do so I hear an echo? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I am bony. Heel Hogan was great fun. Okay, you guys need to explain something to me. Uh, I'm so glad that you said Heel Hogan. Here we go. Something in wrestling <laughs> I do not understand. Because I've been watching, like, I'm just starting to get back into it. I haven't been into wrestling in years, right? So I'm just getting back into this stuff. And, like, recently, within the past couple of months. And I hear the wrestlers in their interviews, they're always saying the word heel. What the heck does heel mean in wrestling? I don't understand what that means. So somebody explain that to me. Educate me. Because they always say, oh, he's the baby heel, or he's the yada yada heel. I'm like, what does heel mean? <laughs> <sighs> So David says you guys should take your top 12 Friday night shows. And Heel means the bad guy. Thank you. <laughs> so David says we should take our, our top 12 NWO Friday was night Heel shows. Hogan, Hollywood Hogan. Oh, okay, so the NWO is the yes. same as the Hollywood Hogan. Yes. Okay, now we're on the same page. Oh, good. Gotcha. Heel bad baby face. Good. Heel bad baby. Oh, that would have been my next question. What's babyface mean? Because I didn't know what that meant either. Because they were saying that a lot in the, in the interviews. And I didn't know what that meant. So heel bad, babyface good. Okay. So why do they say that though? And what is that only a wrestling term? Like why do they say those words instead of saying good or bad? I'm just kind of curious why they say that. Apparently David said we should take our top 12 shows and sell it to HBO. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you keep interrupting each other. Yeah, uh, we know. We do. I know. It's we but the funny the funny part it is it this is how we are on a daily basis like people might think this is just us acting this way but no you can ask mom you can ask the sister this is us on a daily basis we always use tonight as your pilot <laughs> there you go good idea as a uh, Saturday Night Live news show with Christina and Radical Toys <laughs> yeah man that's another show that I miss like. When Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, and uh, uh, who was some of the other ones? Chris Farley. You know, those guys. The, I miss those guys being on Saturday Night Live. Those were the good times. And uh, what's the other guy's name? Um, 
The two guys that played in Wayne's World. Oh, uh, what's their names? Bill and, uh, they're uh, one. I think they're both Canadian. Yeah, I can't remember. Mike Myers. Mike Myers. And, and who's the other one? David. David I, I want to say David. David Harley or David Spade. John. It wasn't Bush. David Spade? It was what? David. David Harley or what's his name? Kevin you guys Shane. know his what, name. What? <laughs> John. Yes, John Candy. How could I forget about John Candy? He was freaking amazing. Chevy Chase, exactly. John Belushi. Who is that? John Belushi. I don't know who that is. Who is that? That name doesn't ring a bell. I'll probably know who it is if I've seen his face. Speaking my sister. Good heels were Ric Flair, uh, McMahon, Dana Triple H. H. Dana, Dana Carey. Dana, Dana Carvey. Thank you. Dana Carvey. Yes, that's who I was thinking of. What was I calling him? Davis? David something? You were Dana something. Kirby. Thank you. Yeah, I miss when those guys were on Saturday Night Live. You know what my favorite skit is? And if I can think of it sometime, maybe I can do a lot. When I want to do a live, uh, another live stream, I'll, I'll show you. Maybe we can do a live stream about Saturday Night Live stuff. Wouldn't that be cool? Um, my favorite skit, if you guys remember it, and it was the one that Dan Aykroyd did. And he pretended to be the toy guy. He was a toy salesman, and they were in the office, and the lady was uh, uh, acting as if she was the health inspector, and they were uh, she was asking questions like, because he had he had toys like a bag of uh, bag of glass that was one of the toys that he sold, and she was asking questions about it, and he's like, I put the label on it, it says right there, warning, this may cut you, <laughs> stuff like that. It was the funniest freaking episode. And then he had another one where it was like a doll, and she's like, well, what about this doll? This doll doesn't seem very safe, and it had, like, razor blades and stuff in it or something like that. And uh, and, he, and he said, well, what about this uh, this nice teddy bear over here, you know, this comfy teddy bear? It'll, the next thing you know, it jumps at you, blah, 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 and it's killing you, and it's choking you. Man, I could stop laughing. That was my favorite episode of Saturday Night Live. Jeff asked you, he said, Adam, did you see the movie The, Loop, the Blues Brothers or Animal House? John Belushi was the lead actor in those movies. I knew that he was in the, the Blues Brothers, but I haven't seen it. But I'm very well aware of it because Dan Aykroyd talks about it quite a bit. But I haven't seen it. The, uh, I'm trying to think of the earliest thing that I've seen Dan Aykroyd in. I can't, I can't even think. Mr. Holmes, thank you for dropping in. I'm trying to think of the earliest film I've seen him in. Night Train also said... But says, I didn't see... No, I didn't see Blues Brothers. I, I missed those two that you're referring to. Um, Night Train says Norm MacDonald and Chris Farley were brilliant. Yeah, he was good too, Norm MacDonald. Yeah, and Chris Farley, of course he was. He was the, uh, I'm going to fall over and, uh, you know, oh my lord. You know, he was very... Uh, what's the word? Eccentric or very, very <laughs> loud. Another good way of saying loud, right? Like he was the loud guy. That's the way. That was his skit. Speaking moistly says, "Good heels as a wrestler, you love to hate, but then you just love them and want them to beat the, the beat the baby face." <laughs> uh, beat the baby face. Cool. That. Bag of broken glass. That, so, that, that's right. That's that's okay. that's what it was. Night train. Broken broken bag of glass. <laughs> bag of broken glass. It, it was a broken. Completely sharp. Completely dangerous. And the kid, the guy's like, I put the warning label on it. There it is. And okay, so warning label. You have to show these again. Oh, because oh. Jay came in and he hasn't seen it. Okay, so um, what uh, Mike sent us over here. We got Ricky. Uh, Ricky the Steamboat. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. <laughs> I get him mixed up with another wrestler all the time. Who's the one that I get make him mixed up with? I, I can't think know. of. But anyway, uh, we got that one. Super cool. We got the um, uh, the Roddy, Roddy Par Piper. That's a tongue twister for me. Freaking love this guy. Uh, Roman Reigns. We got my favorite wrestler, which is... Who's your favorite wrestler, Jay? Oh. Mine's, um, mine's Macho Man. So we got Macho Man, the cool Macho Man. Uh, we got some masks, buddy. We got the iguana. Well, let's not forget her. And Sightlock. And uh, where's the other one? On the other side. Oh, we got uh, Dazzler from X Men. That's not the only. There's still other ones on the floor over there. Is there? Yeah. What am I missing? <laughs> oh, freak. More. Oh my lord. Uh, Becky, well, Becky Lynch. 
Finn Balor. And that's the second one. Which, right, the double doubles of um, which you and, spe- you and speaking Wednesday are going to talk about. Yeah, we're probably going to do a trade of some sort. Cool, that's it. That's what we got. But yeah, that, that was that was cool. Saturday Night Live is really fun. So uh, Night Train says my favorite uh, SNL skit of all times is when Chris Farley interviewed Paul McCartney. Uh, when Chris Farley interviewed Parliament, I don't know if I remember that one. I remember the one that, that I remember down down by the river in a van. I remember that one. Hey, Mr. Homemade Car- uh, Mr. My God, Arcade. Chris- Mr. Home Arcade. Thank you for dropping in, buddy. Good to see you. How are things going, man? You've been rocking the world in the YouTube world. John says Eddie Murphy was one of his favorite Saturday Night Lives. Eddie Murphy? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, he was on there too, wasn't he? All the old actors were on there. Uh, he did Fred Garvin, male, male prostitute. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, I remember. Uh, figuratively speaking, Eddie Murphy was one of my favorites. So that's John. Uh, so you have to watch that movie, Radical Blue, Blue, Blues Brothers. I'll have to, we'll have to watch that then. Can we get it on Netflix? Maybe we can watch it tonight. Is it on Netflix? Do you guys know if it's on Netflix or not? I'll watch it tonight. I'll watch anything that has uh, Dan Aykroyd in it. One of my favorite movies that he's in is, um, do you guys ever see The Great Outdoors, him and John Candy? One of my favorite movies that they were in. It was so funny. I, I love that movie. I- it's one of those films I can never get tired of. I used to watch it a lot when I was a kid. Nature. We had those WWF pillows that were shaped like the wrestlers. My cousin with his anger problems got mad. Yeah, he there, there arms is. arms around the Eternal Warrior. There he is. <laughs> Living in a van down by the river. Yeah, jump for that one. <laughs> uh, Ric Flair is the best wrestler. So speaking mostly, his favorite is uh, Ric Flair. So we got a Ric Flair fan. We got a Macho Man fan. We got two Undertaker fans. We got, a lot, we got an Andre the Giant fan, which is good to see because I'm, I'm glad somebody's favorite is uh, Andre the Giant because he is oh, cool. Oh, okay, Mr. Holmes. He said, Radical Toys, I'm hanging in there. I'm in the process of moving. Moving sucks because there's a lot to do. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> Finn, who is a good figure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, don't forget about Sam. What are you looking at me for? You know why. <laughs> Don't forget about Sam Kinnison. Uh, Finn Balor, yeah, that's it. We we had those WWF pillows that were shaped like a wrestler. Yeah, what was the other things that they had? They had like the they had those in their and oh the um, the stretchy toys by LGN, right? Frick, I swear LGN got their hands on every franchise in the world. Oh, my God. Back in the 80s. That's another good one night train. What's that? Uh, he said, speaking moistly, great outdoors, Uncle Buck, and planes and trains and automobiles. That's another good one. <laughs> uh, with anger problems, got mad and, and wrapped the arms off. Uh, ultimate, you were probably trying to say ultimate Warrior. I, su- I assume that's what you're trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> I never had those. See, I liked wrestling, but I got into it. I don't even remember what age I got into it, but I know, or I don't remember owning any of the toys or anything like that. I never, I never had the toys and stuff. My friends did though. My friend, I, like I remember those pillows. I remember the stretchy friggin' wrestling figures because all my friends had them. Uh, I just watched that the other night. What's that, John? Whatever they want. Oh, I loved him in the movie Back to School. Yes. Yes, I know that movie. Oh, okay, Ralph. That movie was cool. Well, yeah, that, that, was, too, that was really funny. John. Uh, Eddie Murphy was on season one, then he blew up. Right. Yeah, because Eddie Murphy did hit it pretty big, didn't he? Because he did like the Beverly Hills Cop and stuff. 
There you go. Uh, yeah, so definitely do that. There's Mike's link to his toy channel. Um, he's, he's had some sales. He's, he's had one from JD Hobbies bought something. and uh, Who else bought from him? There's somebody else. Can't think of who it is. I think it was Weird Fantastic Toys. I think it was Bill. Definitely check out Mike's toy shop. You guys are looking for individual parts or if you're looking for a particular figure, there's a good chance Mike Mike will have it. Huh. Mr. Home Arcade. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves it, Mr. Home Arcade stuff. Yeah. He's got that comic, uh, he's got that comical side of things. He's, uh, Mr. Home Arcade says, if you want something good to watch, he's in the middle of watching Fallout on uh, Amazon Prime. If you played the game, video game, you'd love it. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's right, Adam Sandler. I don't know what it is about Adam Sandler. I'm not a, I like, the funny thing about Adam Sandler is I liked him back in the day, but now I don't really care for him, and I don't know why it is. I don't, I don't know. I think it's because I prefer the, I think I prefer the dry humor and he's not really dry. He's more of a, I don't know how to explain him. I don't know how to explain Adam Sandler. <laughs> Speaking wisely. Mr. But I, I get why people like him now. I Mr. totally get it. Mr. Home Arcade is a toy tuber. Because he, he did, uh, what movies did Adam Sandler do? He did so many. He did uh, Waterboy. I watched Waterboy. There's Jack a, and Jill. Yeah, he, he did quite a few movies. They were pretty good movies, though. Like, I'm not knocking his movies. They were pretty good. I actually, one thing that I did like that Adam Sandler did was the audio cassette tape. Did you ever guys ever hear The Goat and uh, Tollbooth Willie? That was my favorite. Tollbooth Willie was hilarious. That was genius. And that was on a cassette tape. <laughs> like, that was cool. That was just an audio thing that he did. When he did, because uh, he did a, a couple uh, cassette tapes back in the day, right? You know, when you talk about Adam Sandler, the funniest one, and I can't remember the name off the movie at the top of my head, but Bob Barker is in this movie. And they're playing golf. And oh, that was um, Happy Gilmore. Yes. And and Happy Gilmore decides to get an attitude with Bob Barker, and Bob Barker kicks his ass. <laughs> kicks the crap at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging in there. I'm in the process of moving. Moving sucks because there's a lot to do. I know what you're feeling because I'm going to be moving soon too. So I totally get where you're coming from. I'm not looking forward to moving as in terms of just the move itself because it's annoying. Oh, we may have to do it more than once. Because moving, moving is annoying, especially when you got a lot of figures and stuff. Because next thing you know, you're like like Sir Clifton was saying before, uh, you lose. You, that's when you start losing things. Like you'll start losing stuff, and you know. It's bad enough I lose one accessory. Like, I think I lost my, um, I was telling Mike about it, the trap jaw hook. Was it the hook? Yeah, I think, I think it was the hook. Yes, it was. It was the hook from trap jaw from Origins. And I looked high and low for the darn thing. The only thing I could figure was the dog got it. I, I couldn't figure out where it was. Never found it. So it drives me insane when I lose my stuff. So moving is going to be a pain in the butt. Waterboy was a funny movie, Jay. Yeah. Was that the one where he kind of played like a simpleton? Like there yes, was one where he played was like... the water boy. Was it the water boy? I thought so. Because he was like H2O, Gatorade. Yes. That, <laughs> that was Fon Fon uh, I almost called him Fonzie Bear. Fon Fonzo. Right? Who? Fonzo. Who? Happy days, guy. Hey. Fonzo? Fonzie. Is that his name? Fonzie? That guy, hey! <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. I do, well, know who you're talking about, but Fonzo, really? I almost called him Fonzie Bear. Oh, I've got the Muppets in my, in my brain. It's Fonzie, not Fonzo. Yeah, there you go, Fonzie. Tasty's like Fonzie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, John, I loved, it when the, sure. I loved it when the bear jumped on the floor. <laughs> exactly. Or jumped on the door. Planes, trains, and automobiles, you're going the wrong way. Yeah, that's mom, one of mom's favorites, too. She always quotes that. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> it's Henry, Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler. Wasn't there, wasn't there a shower scene where he, where he gets out of the shower and, and there was a big big pair of underwear or something like that and he's disgusted or something. Do you have these? It's been a moment since I watched Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I need Do to watch I that movie again. What? 
The other one I liked was Armed and Dangerous. That was the other one that I liked John Candy in. That was funny. That was such a good movie. Man, we had such good stuff back in back in. Do you years, have man. these? Do I have what? You can't see the photo. Who's that? Oh, that's okay. my sister. Oh, it's your sister. Okay. And um, she, but she did. The, 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 there's no photo. That's a video chat. We we were video chatting, but I I don't know what I'm supposed to have. You want something good to watch? I'm in the middle of watching Fallout on Amazon Prime. If you played the video game, you'll love it. I never got into Fallout, but I love video games. But I never got into the Fallout franchise. I tried Fallout 4 because a friend of mine had lent it to me, and I might have played about 15 minutes in, and I was like, nope, this isn't for me. I'm usually, isn't that a first-person shooter type of game? I know I played it, yes. but not for very long. And I wasn't a huge fan of Fallout. I'm a very, I'm so particular with my video games, and I'm sure everybody else is too. I'm more of like the fighter, role player, and a lot are open world type of games. I, I think Fallout is an open world game, but I think it's also a first person shooter, is it not? Correct Stripes me. was the best John Candy, I think. That was a good one, Stripes. I know there's a lot of fans of that franchise, though. Uh. Yeah, I can't stop laughing at the John Candy's movies. I remember uh, we were uh, where I was living too. Uh, the day when he passed away, I felt that. I was like, man, that really bothered me when I was a kid when I found out <laughs> he passed on. Night Train says he watches Planes and Trains every Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, can I put on some great co uh, comedic actors? I guess it's so cold you could have time to sit at home and work on your comedy. There you go. Yeah, we had some good we had some good good actors that, that came out of Canada thank thankfully because I mean I'll admit it Canada, uh, Canada general TV like Canada Canadian TV sucks nobody watches it but we had some really good actors speaking mostly yes hear no evil see no evil that was definitely a good movie Richard Pryor oh yeah hear no Gene. evil see no yeah Richard Pryor and Gene Hackman yep that was good. Richard Pryor, he was another awesome genius. What was the one? My favorite movie that he was in was the one where he had to drive the kids in a yellow school bus. What, what was was it called? Was that Moving Day? That was my favorite freaking movie with him in it. It was so funny. Because he'd, he'd like lose in his mind, and I just love it. I love Richard Pryor's acting. He was so good. <laughs> Your mother says... It was funny when they were in the same bed together. John Candy won't stop talking. He's sold shower curtain rings, remember? <laughs> yeah, CBC is lame. Deep on the CBC, Dave goes, that is pretty lame. Dave goes, those aren't pillows, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, so legendary now. I want to watch it. <laughs> That's speaking moistly. No, you don't. <laughs> If you're talking about the CBC stuff, no, you don't. Nice Night Train. Remember the one I still watch them today? Night Train. Which one's that? Do you know that one? Who? They're talking about Night Train. No. Who's talking about Night Train? Mom and... Uh, I, that one I don't remember, I don't think. I'm not sure what that one is. Oh, sorry. I'm, oh, man, I'm so no, stupid. No, I was going to say Night that's, Train. That's not what they're talking about. No, I'm so dumb. Night Train is talking to your mother about something. I'm trying to figure out what they're talking about. Yeah. I missed it. I'm trying to figure out what movie you guys are talking about. I'm like, wait a minute. There's no freaking movie called Night Train. That's the person in the chat. Oh, my God. I was like, what? Blonde moment. I was like, what do you mean? Night Train, don't forget Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, Star Wars, Breakfast Club, etc. Oh, yeah. This is a spinal, sp spinal trap. <laughs> those are so, like, we know those ones, though. Everybody knows those ones. They're so mainstream. We know them. It's, it's some of the abstract gems, like The Jerk and Moving Day and uh, what's some of the other ones, like some of the ones that you guys were mentioning. Those are the, like, more uncommon ones, like The Great Outdoors. They were all good freaking movies that I find don't get enough spotlight. No one ever talks. No one ever talks about them. So my train says radical toys. She meant about the other movie. I know. I'm having a radical sister moment. Night train, Thank you. Night train is 
It is a cheap <laughs> liquor that was only sold in California alone. A Guns N' oh. Roses song was named after it. Your mother, your sister said, hey, I'm blonde. Ha ha. <laughs> All right, Night Train. That's, 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 that's right. That is a Guns N' Roses song because I know that song. Huh. I'm on a night train. I remember that song. It was a good song. No, you don't want to hear me sing. No. You don't. That's the one thing I cannot do. If I want, if I want to chase my audience out of the room, Christina, I'll just start oh, singing. Okay, hang on. I have to read something. Mom's asking me to read something back. Christina, can you read back my comment of radical? Radical. Oh, with the shower curtain. Yeah, because I was talking about the underwear or something. What? 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 Uh. She said it was funny when they were in the same bed together, and John Candy won't stop talking. He slowed. S sold shower curtains ring remember right he showed the shower curtain so what was the scene about though there was a shower scene and i don't remember what it was about so not no there was no shower scene there's a shower scene in the movie i don't remember a shower scene. there has to be no there wasn't are you sure yes man i need to watch that freaking movie again and, he, and the funny part was i forgot that he sold shower curtains. the funny rings, part but, yeah but then but it wasn't he like a like, he didn't have a home, he didn't have a family. That was the idea of the movie. Because well, at the end, they brought him in the, yes, and they, the they, they invited first. him yes. over for Christmas holidays. Um, but the funny part was, when he turned around and he was trying to make money, and he started selling these shower curtain rings, his earrings, to these girls into the, into the airport because they were trying to get money because of all the things that happened. So... Oh, right, and, they, and he was, they were using them as earrings and stuff. Oh, right, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Mom says, no, shower scene radical. Okay. Was there an underwear scene? I swear there was an underwear Hang scene. On. I'm going to go up a little further, see if I can find your comment. Wasn't there a scene about. where there was, like, he was holding out a big pair of underwear? What movie was that? Maybe I'm thinking of a different movie. Hang on. Let's go back over Mom's comments for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Martin, invite him over to Thanksgiving dinner. That's right. That's right. Do you guys remember um, John Candy having a small scene in Home Alone? He was in the Home Alone movie. you guys remember that? Okay, she's not talking to me. Steve Martin invites him to his place. Richard dinner. Pryor in The Toy. I remember that, sort of. The Toy. It rings a bell. Yes. Oh my God! How could I forget about Uncle Buck? That was the best one. Uncle Buck was awesome. Chevy Chase. I was, love that freaking movie. Was definitely a comedy genius. I love that movie, Uncle Buck. Man, I could watch that over and over again. That was so good. Oh, there's the shower scene that you're talking about. Well, Steve Martin took a shower after John Candy did, but he didn't have a towel to dry off while well, John used them all. Yes! I told you. I really wasn't wasn't into the shower Who scene. Who said that? The shower scene is when... Okay, John. Night Train says this. No, the shower Jeff. scene is when Steve Martin bought John's you? underwear was a towel and used them to dry his face. That's what it was. I knew there was an underwear scene with the shower. Thank yeah. you, Night Train. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Uncle Buck is definitely timeless. Christmas Vacation is the funny comedian yes, for me that all one year. Is, that yes. one well, everybody funny. likes that one, right? The Chevy Chase one. That one's classic. It's so classic, they play it every year at Christmas. Jeff says Fletch is a great comedy. Because, you know, no offense to the new gens, but they just can't seem to come with, like, a, a better Christmas movie than that. They can't top it. Good luck. Fletch is a good comedy. I don't know if I know that one. Do I know that one? I don't think I know that one. <laughs> Night Train says, is my Yeah, Uncle favorite, Buck, man. That was so cool. It's my second favorite Christmas movie right after The Christmas Carol. Yeah. I, that's my favorite movie, Christmas Vacation, for sure. I watched it, I watched it every year. I liked the, the one that I liked was, and it was the cartoon one for Christmas shows, was the Garfield Christmas. I like that one. Uh, yeah, speaking mostly, yes. That is definitely a good one. 
best Christmas movies, Bad Santa. <laughs> oh, God. see, I I'm the opposite. I'm the person that doesn't like that type of comedy. I don't find it funny. Uh, I like dry humor. And oh, okay. I get it because my brother loves that movie, and I watch it, and I'm like, <laughs> why am I not laughing? <laughs> like, am I the only one on the planet that doesn't? Like this type of comedy? I have to agree, Night Train. I know everybody like likes it. He meant to say Muppet Christmas Carol. I meant the Muppet, uh, the Muppet Carol. Christmas Carol. Yeah, yeah exactly. that one's cool. Yeah. The one with the uh, the Swedish chef. Gobble, big gobble, gobble, gobble. But the bit with the big bird. Big gobble, gobble, gobble. I remember that one. The Swedish chef, man, that was hilarious. There was the Muppet Christmas, and then there was the Muppet Family Christmas Carol. There was like two of them. Yeah. But I like the, the the first one, the Muppet Family Christmas, where they all come over to the house and the chef is trying to cook Big Bird. <laughs> I like that one. I think, was Fraggle Rock in that? Did Fraggle Rock make a, a scene in that? I think, so. I think they were in it. I know, right? Wish we could go back to the 80s. Man. I keep telling, I was telling my... Mike last night. I was where, telling him. Like, where's I was, my Delarine? Man. Yeah, the Fraggles are in it. Yes, yes I was are. okay. They were in it, so man, it's, it's so funny how I have such a good long-term memory, but my short-term memory is completely gone. I can't remember five minutes, but I can remember the first movie I went to, and I could describe my experience to a T. But I can't remember yesterday. Maybe it's just one of those things you remember the things that you want to remember. Maybe it's one of those sort of things. Yeah, the Fraggles were cool. Well, I was I was just singing Fraggle Rock before we started the live, wasn't I? I was singing the theme song. Mm -hmm. Like na 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 na. -na. <laughs> <laughs> no train says that's because you fall on the floor all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, because of these slippery freaking floors. I, I like things being clean. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But when they're Danny Tanner clean, where you're gonna slip and fall on your face. I remember everything is not a good thing sometimes. Fraggle Toy is too funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, good times. <laughs> I keep telling Mike, like, I, I keep telling him, like, I'm sick and tired of waking up every day, and it's not to 1985. I'm tired of it. Good night, Dave. <laughs> Thank you so much for dropping in. Dave's saying good night. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for the super chat once again, Dave. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Love you, brother. Thanks for coming in, man. Really appreciate it. I'll definitely see you uh, drop in on Wednesday or next Friday. We'll never see you again. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Tasty Cake. Good night. I go to work in the morning. It's been fun. Okay, Tasty Cake. Thank you for chilling and hanging out with us. I guess we're starting to get to close-up and close up time. How long have we been going two for? Hours. We've been at the two-hour mark, so great. This has been a great show. I love doing this where we can just sit here and talk to you guys. Uh, you know, the toy stuff is fun, too. But just sometimes just sitting back here and just talking about whatever. I think that's fun, too. You know, I think it's great. Uh, we need the Back to the Future car, the DeLorean. Yeah, we do. Um, Night Train says, Radical Toys, when I get my room set up, I want to send you a video of it. It's going to be epic. So you guys are going to have to, like, link up on IG, Instagram. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely send me send me a, a, a quick video. I don't know how the heck would you send that over to me, but definitely do it. Through Instagram. But it can, can, is, isn't Instagram limited? How? No. They're not? Okay. You can send videos. Okay. Because I know, I know email is limited. Like they're limited no. to a very, I think it's 15 megabytes or something like that. Something very small. <laughs> Jeff said he looks, far, he's, he looks forward to a Friday night. <laughs> Yeah, they could, this was just something we did, like, as a random thing to try or something, like... Well, it, what happened was when I got my first figure. Oh, that's what, that's right. You got your first Star Wars figure, so when and I got my first like, Star Wars let's go figure, live. We said, let's go live. Let's go live. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it, it, those of them that know me well enough now to know that... That first night, I wasn't this person. <laughs> yeah, you were you were pretty freaking shy. I you was were you shy were like you didn't time. even want to look at the camera. You didn't know what to do. But you know that's all. I was like that too when I first started a YouTube channel. <clears throat> Thankfully, I did it in the style where you didn't see my face, so it didn't bother me as much. 
Uh, but I, I got through it, and then next thing you know, you know, I got my face on there. I kind of, I'm kind of all over the place. Puppets, my face, <laughs> my hands. Figuratively sweet. John says, I've smoked too much in my life, so my short-term and long-term memory are both... Short-term and my long-term memory are both shot. Fair oh, enough. Andre Dykes, thank you for coming in. That's somebody new. Uh, where do you see that now? Right underneath Figurative Speaking. Oh, Andrew Dykes, thank you for dropping in. Uh, well, that's a good thing you uh, you you got to work for me. Get out. <laughs> well, that, well, that's a good thing you go you got to work for me. Get out. You must have just got out. Of, did you just get out of work? Is that I think you just meant to get out of work. Cool. Uh, Sir Clifton, you can smoke too much. <laughs> never or never smoke too much. Isn't isn't that the saying? Never smoke too much. I don't know. Uh, welcome in. Uh, I'm not sure. If, have we seen you in here before? But no. thank you for dropping hey, in, man. Is, please remember to hit the like button. And if you mm -hmm. haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Yes, please hit the uh, please hit the subscribe, hit the like button. And once again, guys, thank you for the super chats. You got what do we had 60, 60, 60, 68. 68 bucks in super chats tonight. Thank yes, you so much. Thank you so much. Once again, it's going all towards the PC stuff. It's going to go towards equipment. Thanks, man. That was thank you guys are so awesome. <laughs> I absolutely. absolutely cannot smoke too much. I think I smoked so much once that I smoked myself sober. <laughs> smoked myself sober. There you go. There you have it. Uh, uh, what I uh, what I always say is pick your poison. Like some people like their beer, some people like their smoking, some people, you know, everybody likes something different. Pick your poison. Uh, Jay, I still hide behind the camera. Yeah, you you are you definitely do. You came live with me though that time. Like when I first started the channel, you did come live with me. I remember when we were doing the stream here thing. You did one time. I got you live one time. That was fun. I was like, geez, I think that was like the first year I did the uh, channel. That was cool. But yeah, thanks uh, and thanks, Mike. Man, Mike's the man of the hour. Sending all these figures over. Um, it was a, so wonderful to get these WWE figures. I've been wanting to get more of these. So we're gonna. Uh, so that's the plan. Um, every Friday, we're just gonna do whatever character. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do a poll vote, and you guys can vote on which one you would like to see for a Friday. I'll set that up on Sunday, and. We'll just go from there, and we'll dedicate every Friday night to an episode of each one of these characters. And, you know, we can talk about the character and what our thoughts are about the character and all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, and don't forget, when this Wednesday is going to be, uh, who are we doing? Rock On. So Masters of the Universe Origins Rock On. So he's going to be um, he's gonna be next, and then I don't know what I'm doing after that. Not sure, because we still got some X-Men uh, stuff to do and I want to I'm really interested in doing a mask episode I'm very highly interested in that so maybe I'll do a mask episode the following Wednesday that's the plan I think I'll do that uh, thank you so much night train yeah yeah I, I most certainly am going to enjoy every freaking one of these Mike I really will like uh, these are uh, I'll say it again the cat's ass like this this is really awesome this is cool I love that freaking macho man. Oh man, and he's even got the cool glasses. I was asking Mike the other night, like, uh, I, I meant to check it on eBay. Can you actually buy like a pair of? Uh, maybe Sir Clifton would know this answer because he's some is he sunglasses guy. Uh, I wonder if you can buy a pair of sunglasses that are just like Macho Man's, but ones that like have the graphic designs that he used to have on some of the ones that he used to. That he used to wear. They were really cool. I was kind of curious if you could buy those. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll do as much as I'll um, as much as I really want to get that mojo out of the box because I've been talking about it forever and he's been sitting in the box for like over a month. Uh, I think I'll do this mask one. So we'll probably do that after Rock On. So I've already got Rock On set up. It's already set up and ready to go. So. Yeah, I put the link in the live. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, it will do. I uh, I wish I had more mask. I didn't. I the only one that I had growing up, and I'm gonna have to get him again, is Condor. 
he was the only one that I had, a green motorcycle. That was the only one I had because I remember specifically going to Kmart and buying it. I remember it like it was yesterday, but he was the only one that I owned. So it was nice now that I have I've got the uh, Matt Tracker and Thunderhawk. I've got uh, Floyd Malloy on the Vampire. And is there another one? No, no, this this makes the third one. I've only got three of them. This makes the third one. I'm pretty sure it was it's only three that I have. There was those were the only two that I managed to buy. And I had to buy like two Thunderhawks to come to make a complete one. Because I couldn't find a complete one at the time. So I bought two two used ones and then you know I mixed and mashed to make the parts uh, complete as a full one basically. So I've got another one as a spare for, you know, backup parts, right? Uh, yes, Condor. I took that to school with me every day, addicting little toy. Speaking of taking toys to school, do you guys remember doing show and tell at Christmas time? Uh, with what you got to bring, um, everybody sat down. I don't know if you guys did it in the States, but in Canada, we used to sit down and everybody got to take a turn to show what they got for Christmas. And we got to show one item. We always get to show one item. So for me, I was always showing a toy. And I remember one year I begged radical mom all month long. I was bugging the crap out of her. All I wanted was Hordak. I wanted a Hordak action figure. And I remember Pixel Dan doing an episode because he had the exact same experience. Uh, same thing happened to him that happened to me. We both wanted a Hordak. And that that Christmas morning, I opened up a Hordak. And that's what I showed at school for show and tell. And it was really fun. So I just wonder if you guys remember doing that in school. Speaking once, I said I dug up some carded figures. Can't wait to or some <laughs> trading negotiations. Oh, what's that? It's me, the king. I dug up some carded figures. Can't wait for some uh, trading. Trading negotiations. Trading negotiations. Cool. Sounds awesome. Yeah, let's do some trades, buddy. Uh, let's see. Yes, Jeff, you said you had mass nice toys yeah i i know uh i think jay jay you got some mass stuff right because you do i think jay just did an episode of manta with uh you just said with vanessa right he said you did the manta. Was such an awesome toy line i still have my vinyl with the box yeah uh it, that's right too we did have so many lines it was hard to play like for me it was i was on a particular line at a time like G.I. Joe for this long, and I was He-Man for this long, and then I was, you know, that's kind of how I did it, I think. But I, I remember, like, liking a lot of the lines to the end, for the most part, because I was into He-Man till the end. G.I. Joe, at least three quarters. Shortly after the Tiger Force came out, I was into the Tiger Force stuff, but then shortly after that, whatever the final waves of G.I. Joe was, I was out by then. <laughs> Training is the best part of toys. Like we are kids again. Huh? Yeah, Mike's been picking up a crap load of them lately. I'm jealous. He's he's got the Rhino. He's got uh, what does he got? I think he's got the Vampire Condor. I can't remember if he got. Th I, did you pick up Thunderhawk yet? I can't remember. And uh, what's the other ones you got? Um, the green car one. I'm trying to think of its name. I know I know what it's on the tip of my tongue. He's probably putting them in the shop. Yeah, they're really cool. Uh, for for all the toy, like I was saying, all toy lines earlier, the, like I was saying, man, that I would want to see come back with a vengeance would be Mask. That is the number one toy line that I would love to see come back, and I would support it 110%. As long as they don't change anything. Don't change anything. Just bring it back the way it originally was, just like you brought back the Ghostbusters stuff. Keep it the same. Don't change anything. You don't need to. It ain't broken. Don't fix it. Bring them back the way they were. Your mother says, yes, love the story you told about your mother. She gave you your toy away. But it it's all turned out good. Nice smile. Yeah, I want the same scale. I want the same scale. Same ones that I don't want. It's, it's one of those rare toy lines that I don't want change to 
Uh, I don't mind change. I understand change is inevitable, but for this toy line, I want it to be the same. I like them the way they are. Um, I don't really necessarily need these ones to show up in a six inch because I know if they show up in a six inch, they're going to be nice, but they're going to be probably out of my price range. Let's face it. Uh, and I just like them the way they are. I want the I want I want the experience of opening up those traditional boxes like they originally had them. I want that experience again because I miss it, and I just love them the way they are. But that that's my thoughts. That's just my my thoughts on it. That's how I would like it. I was talking with Jeff Story. Oh, I, I was talking with Jeff Story when he was on when he was on Mike. Okay, cool. I don't think I have anything worth much except Moto Classics. Uh, 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 that's some some of the things I'm starting to get. But me and Mike were looking at the classics the last night, and man, we couldn't find anything that was. Oh, it was it was brutal. Like, well, I think classics are finally finally uh, out of my right out of my price range, unfortunately, because um, they they were just unreasonable. The ones that we were looking at. The cheapest one was like a character that we just didn't really care about. Mike's like, man, do I want to pull the trigger on these? And like, and Mike's more lenient than I am. I'm more, I'm more of the stickler with the pricing. Mike's more lenient with that. Um, I can only speak for myself. I like to keep costs down. Not that Mike doesn't like to keep costs down. He's just more about more lenient than I am. Uh, what, what are you starting to collect? I need those, John. I'm starting to collect those now. I can speak mostly. I don't think I have anything worth much except Moto Classics. Oh, okay. So you guys are talking about, you're still talking about yeah. the Classics. Okay. That's fine. Yep. I like the Classics too. Um, I was very thankful that Jay gave me the Cyclone. Like that was the cherry, um, cherry on the top for me. That was a really nice figure. And I've got them stood up on my shelf with like the 2000 X one that Mike gave me and the vintage one that Mike gave me. And I got those three side line, lined up together. So, uh, Mike Fee show when he had his life. Oh, okay. I see Mike Fee. I gotcha. He's a nice fella. Right on. But I think the, I think we're getting the closing time. What do you think? I think we're uh, I think we're at the closing time. I think uh, we've uh, went far enough. Uh, we're over two hours, right? Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't mind watching a movie. Can we find something like maybe an old movie? No. You don't want to watch a movie? No. Oh, you don't. No. What do you want to do? Probably play my game. Okay, that's fine. I said probably. I'm not saying I'm going to. Uh, I got He-Man and Skeletor Classics boxed. I should open them. Yeah, open them. Pressed plastic for them. Wisely says, Uncle Puck, watch it. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to the classics, they're still worth so much money when you open them up anyway. So, so if you're worried about the pricing, I wouldn't worry about it too much because even a loose one is they're expensive, right? So I wouldn't worry about that too much Got if to that's what you're thinking. Got to what? Case has got to. Oh, never mind. Yeah. He went through his message. Probably wasn't what he wanted to write. Lorena, good night, all radical systems. Yeah, why don't we watch this. Uncle Buck? I want to watch Uncle freaking Buck or Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Good luck with that. You don't like them? I, I don't know if I'm really in the movie to watch. Oh, you're just not in the mood for a movie. Oh, that's fine. Uh, good night, all. Uh, radical Sister is signing off. Thank you for dropping in. Thank you for the, what is the $14 super chat yes. you did tonight. I just had it. a little bit of pain happening, so I don't know what I'm going to do for just yet. Oh, okay. Until after we're done, then I have to go Okay. medicate. And take your medicine? Yes. All right. Oh, no. My Blues, brothers. brothers. Yeah, I'm going to have to wash that sometime. Oh, I don't like that. Is so it, I'm going to say my floor is nice and clean, and I just happen to notice his stuff well, it's not on my floor. Ah. Oh, here we go. Danny Tanner on the case. She's got She's going to come out with the mop. No, I won't do that to you tonight. 
Yeah, it was, it was a blast, blast there, yeah. Nolan and uh, Ray. Thank you. Did yes. Ray make it over to your place safely? Is oh, she yes. Over Did there she okay? make it safely? Did she get over there okay? Uh, yeah, thanks, uh, Sir Clifton. Thank you. And uh, let us know when you're when, when you're going to start doing some more yes, content. Yes, definitely. We miss you. We want you back. Uh, great band, too, right? And uh, good night, Steve. She should be here shortly. Okay, oh, okay, thank you. That's good. And yeah, make sure you tell her to thank you for the super chat from you. Yeah, from YouTube. Definitely, guys. Make Please. sure you, you tell really her that. I appreciate it. Hey, girl, have a great weekend. Happy journey. Huh. Good night, all. Okay. Great weekend, they say. Yeah. So I guess that's that's a wrap, guys. Christina has to work at 8 30 in the morning. Yeah, she'll have to stay. Yeah, you got to work in the morning. That's right, too. So we'll put some of these back. There we go. We'll put some of these back. Put her in your bag. Other stuff. Uh, yeah, I got a bag for her. I got to put her in the bag here. Other stuff. And I'll put the mask back in there, too. Yeah, I'm just see where it is. Okay. We'll put that in there. We'll put that in there. I'm going to call you tomorrow. Good night, Radical Sister. Love ya. Put that in there. Right on. Okay. Great episode, guys. Fantastic. Oh. Safe journeys, everyone. Have a great night. Have a wonderful night, folks. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys on Sunday because we're going to do. Ghostbusters video game live stream again. We're going to do part three. Doing part three of it. We're going to do that on Sunday. So we'll see you guys on Sunday. Anyways, guys, have a good night. And uh, until next time.